Okay. Oh, well, in that case. Awesome. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead and press, press record and start recording. So these will be available on YouTube on my channel if anybody wants to review sessions. Um, I will try to keep a adventure journal, quote unquote, uh, going. Uh, and frankly, if anybody wants to like write uh, the adventure thus far entries at the end of each uh, whatever session, that will earn you inspiration. And for those of you who don't know what inspiration is, it's pretty much a little bonus you get that you can uh, claim later in game uh, to get advantage on your roles. It's a reward for good roleplay, it's a reward for good involvement in game. Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of like a gold star. <laughs> oh, I love gold stars. I actually stole one of the gold stars uh, in preschool, and uh, <laughs> they found out that I had done that on the way out, so I got in trouble for doing that. They yeah, never uh, got a gold star. Oh, I feel bad. Here. Well, here, hang on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Don't give me your stolen golden star. No! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't want that. It's not good. A good that I crave knowledge, not, not stolen goods. Here, here is one unstolen gold star for you, uh, Hunter. Oh, thank you. Wow. Just, uh, wow. Sew that into my flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Bye. First thing... First thing people on this channel are going to learn is that I stole something in preschool. You know, whatever. This is, all, this is what it's all about. First impressions. Um, so hmm. if everybody's here... Uh... Anybody wants to go first? Uh, we should just go and order a Discord. <laughs> sure. What do you mean? Like from top from, to bottom? From yeah, top, top to bottom? Yes, I'm Alph last! <laughs> Alphabetical. <laughs> what? No, oh, I'm last. Wait, does that mean I'm first? Mm -hmm. I, I guess. Go, go oh, ahead yeah. and just kind of tell us a little bit about your character, or about yourself if you so wish, and... Um, uh, either if you want me to tell everybody your background, or if you want to read it yourself, then go right ahead. But yeah, no, I can, I can do it. Okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my character, Arrowwind Steelbreaker. Uh, he's a paladin. He uh, what's it called? It's a blacksmith. Or born and raised in a small village, blacksmith's son. Uh, his village got attacked when he was younger, uh, burnt down, destroyed, whatever. Uh, found himself in Baldur's Gate, where he then decided that he was going to open his own blacksmith shop to carry on his father's legacy. And now he devotes his life to protecting others who can't protect themselves. And to uh, getting revenge on the people who destroyed his livelihood, or his life. Awesome. Very nice. So, quick question to you guys. I said it so everybody can see everybody in the party. Um, everybody can see everybody's characters in the journal over there. Uh, does anybody mind if I paste the backgrounds uh, onto the bio page? Just for if anybody ever wants to look up like, oh, well... What is that one detail about my fellow companion? They can just look up on your sheet. Like, nobody has any secrets they want to keep themselves, is what I'm asking. Go for no, it. No, I don't have any secrets. Actually, okay. I have the black on but Actually, yeah, yeah, I do have a secret. That's okay. <laughs> so you can oh, no. whisper me later on whatever you don't want me to uh, post. I mean, you out of all the party would probably be... Uh, this is a... Uh, You would be one of the only two in our party who probably would have something to hide. But yeah, that's very nice, Arrow. So, Arrow, Wind, Steelbreaker. Um, anything Excuse else you want to you wanna add on? Not really. Okay. So, I've, mean... I've sort of made it so some characters already interact with other characters. For example, um, Faith got her first uh, true blade um her first sword from you Arrowwind. uh mm. others have seen to your smith in the party and have interacted with you to some limited degree so when we do start this adventure uh i would say that everybody knows everybody uh, 
throughout your backgrounds. There's no need to pretend like we're strangers. Uh, we can kind of get past that awkward phase. With that being said, right. who wants to go next? I can go next. No, I thought we were going top to bottom. Yeah, we let's were. Let's say, let's, let's throw I mean, faith It's fine, in. whoever wants to go next. <laughs> it's fine. It's... I'm not ready yet. I woke up like two hours ago and I'm like, <laughs> I forgot how to think. <laughs> Scrub, <laughs> you sleep. Must be nice. Um, yeah, who's Damn, next? I guess that means it's I me. guess. Yeah. Alright, uh, my character name is Bappo, uh, I was... Oh, you got rid of the pimp? Yeah, I got rid of the pimp part. That was temporary. <laughs> that was temporary. Pimp the Bappo. No, no, Bappo the pimp. Uh, pimp daddy walking around. Now, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it Bappo, or is it, do you pronounce both P's like Bappo? <laughs> yes, like Dragonborn with a speech impediment, please. <laughs> Dad, why'd you name me this way? I, I don't know, son. I just love you, son. My little bubble. Bu <laughs> anyway, sorry. All, all his giant teeth are getting in the way. Bubble, uh, yeah. Okay, it's uh, Bapo. Uh, life is good. Uh, I'm a city guard. Good pay. Uh, ladies love me or love a man in uniform. Uh, I'm a member of the Flaming Fist Mercenary Guild. Uh, I was tasked by a commanding officer to patrol the, the streets. And in uh, his head, he's thinking, I don't know what any of this means. Exactly. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing uh, fine job thus far, yeah. I was, he's uh, just reading from a sheet. That's shut right. up. <laughs> listen, let's listen, listen to it. That's all right, though. I was patrolling the streets of the uh, Boulder's Gate, um, keeping the riffraffs at bay, as it says. Uh, uh, I enjoy I enjoyed the brutality of war, or uh, enjoyed uh, partaking in it. Um, my day by day routine was suddenly interrupted when word got out the neighboring city of Ethereal simply disappeared, and I am looking for an adventure to take me away from my uh, restless life or something like that. I think that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, life's boring. I need to get away. Yeah, life's, life's boring. boring. Got to blow off some heads. Yeah. Sounds good. Sweet. So, actually, just FYI, you guys will see why, because we are starting today. Um, it will take me about three minutes to get past the introduction. Bapo, you will come in about three minutes after we start. You're the one character who I'll bring in. Uh, well, you know what? You'll see what I'm talking about. Moving right along. Uh, <laughs> who's next? Well, don't jump in all at once. Byron. Hey, so cool. my name is Byron. Yes, that's me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I am of nobility from the Raven Shade family. Um, I'm a high elf, wizard, and my um. My character tends to be very, um, he's very, I wouldn't necessarily say righteous, but he believes that all people should be treated equally, and he has great consideration for those who are poor or were born less fortunate than him, which tends to be everybody, by my understanding of the ruling class in this world. <laughs> Uh, do you have more, or should we move on to the next person? That's mostly it, yeah. Okay, sorry. Hunter? Hello, friends. I'm Hunter. Um, I've been playing this for almost a year now, right, Tom? Yes. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm Mork, or Mork. No. <laughs> Take it as you will. <clears throat> Uh, I am a monk, uh, aspiring to study uh, the rites of uh, Kenshi. I come from the monastery of the Second Son from Ithril, and often work in cohort with the companions. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> uh, one day, I was meditating uh, on the fringes of the town, and it was gone. And in that horror seeking guidance in 
what remained of my meditation, I made my way to Baldur's Gate. And now we are here. I am easily distracted by knowledge, and uh, I crave it over everything else. Oh, I like shiny things, so that's all right. Yes. God forbid there's a shiny book. We'll have to fight for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I see a shiny book, that's all mine. Mm. Right. I guess I'll go next then. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm playing Valen. He's a a smart paladin from uh, not to spoil your guys' tea, but uh, Elturel is I think how it's pronounced. Um, from Elturel, uh, the he was out on patrol when the city basically turned into a smoking crater. Um, he made his way to Baldur's Gate, and he's been um, he's been helping the refugees there and trying to prevent. Uh, you know, the, the horrors of the city from affecting them. Um, Balin's very compassionate. Uh, he tries to always use violence as a last resort. Hmm. Um, he, yeah, he, he tries to see the good in people and, and bring people together. And, yeah, that's all for me. And last, but certainly not least. Cool. Hmm? Ah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's your turn now. Wait. It's fine. This is the worst part of a session. After this, it's gonna be less light. This was the this was the worst part last time too. We played. Oh yeah. Whenever me and Paul were playing this. Everybody was... say your name and say one thing you like about yourself. Wait. Potatoes. Wait. <laughs> is your name Cole as well? Who? Is, is someone Faith. Is your name Cole as well? No. Okay. No. Faith is Will. I think you heard him say Paul, which is my name. Okay. Paul, oh. not Cole. Faith's <laughs> <laughs> mm. true name is Uwu, apparently. My name is Faith. I grew up in a small town called Variant. Out uh, bumfuck that way. <laughs> Which is the outer <laughs> city. <laughs> Those of you who know, oh, don't know where bumfuck that way is. <laughs> um... Due to financial reasons, I had to join a uh, certain cult. Cult? What the fuck was it called again? A guild? <laughs> the guild. Yeah, a guild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a cult. <laughs> Due to certain yeah. certain uh, circumstances, I had to start praising Satan. <laughs> like, no, yeah, no it's, it's the guild, yes. Reasonable. No, I yeah, had I to join the guild right in order to save the house I'm, that my family grew up in. I'm I'm broke, so I'm gonna go worship Satan real quick. <laughs> Be right back. So we had to steal things. Worship Satan. So we had to do yeah. things, steal things, in order to get money for our house. My sister Celia was given the task to assassinate someone. She said no, and her throat was slit right in front of me. Oh, wow. Traumatizing. After that, I said yes, brought him the head, did that for about three years, and I left. Oh, that's what I should do real quick. And because of that, I tend to have to fidget with something in my hands, or to calm myself down. That's better. That's a nice touch. Yeah. I'm I'm got slight PTSD from murdering someone. Yeah, it, like sucks about your sister, sister, but like it's a nice touch to actually getting kept with like a little like not so much flaw, but more like a quirk. It's nice. I love when people have quirks. That was cool. Um So if you see my hand bleeding from a knife, don't mind me. That's not <laughs> so cute anymore. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh boy. So they're playing with his knife and he cuts his hand off. He's like, it's alright. Alright. We, we have that she. finally. And could only use she, one hand weapon. Face is a female. Will, you're going to be called she the entire time. I know. Okay. <laughs> or her. I think you're the only female. Listen, we're progressive. Uh, you can call you whatever you want. Dude, it's like that Brazzers meme. All right. Let's. <laughs> <Can we die? laughs> and this video is officially not for kids. Hey, Sorry, just, like, just like yesterday's. We don't talk like yesterday. <laughs> no, we do not. Demonetize <laughs> Yes. I fought a giant bird. Yes. Oh. A giant bird. Yep. Sounds like an average kind of Sunday bird. night for me. Oh my. Mm. Hmm. 
What kind of giant bird? Brock. You Brock? fought a bird? What, like your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? I heard a sound, but the sound didn't come from the thing that I thought it came from. I'm 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 trying to get a toggle to mute button in case I start coughing and dying. Oh, okay. We'll provide setting, emotional support. Setting a keybind for that right now. <laughs> oh, I have a button on my on my microphone. I can just press and. Sue, so, with character introductions out of the way. By the way, I'm Tom. I will be your dungeon master, and that's really all I have to say about that. Um, you'll get to know me as we play along. I don't really have anything much to share about myself outside of what I will say during the game. Uh, that being said, you guys can always message me anytime. I am awake pretty much 20 hours a day, no joke. So, 20. yes. <laughs> um, that being said, uh, if anybody has anything last minute to add, otherwise uh, we'll jump straight into session one and we'll start. Is it, is it okay if I call you daddy? Yeah, no, I absolutely <laughs> encourage okay. it. You are all my children <laughs> in my eyes. Uh, you know, all your troubles, all your woes, uh, my ears are here to lend you a listen. And uh, you will always have oh, my right. shoulder to cry on, and uh, we'll see how our relationship will develop from here. And maybe you can call right, me daddy yeah. in one, more than one context. But, you know, no promises. After oh, all, this, no is, problem. this is, after all, a big sausage fest, so... Don't! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stop! Listen, uh, I'm the DM. The, the amount of times I have players have to roleplay with me, every time they want to seduce an NPC... They have to seduce me. You have to work it. So, a natural twenty persuasion. Fried chicken tramps. A natural twenty seduction persuasion rule is nothing if you don't have the proper proper uh, charm, baby. But that being said, welcome to Baldur's Gate. Oh no, I have Discord up, oh, not no. the game. Oh no, I'm scoured. I'm scoured. Ooh. Oh, oh wow, this me. city is a lot bigger than I thought it was. And here's a little visual for you guys as to what you're looking at. Holy shit! Holy cow! Oh, that's high res. That is. Oh. Yo, isn't that 4K UHD, my guy? Yeah. <laughs> Why did I get it? You didn't get it? Okay. No, I got a message in Discord, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Ah. <laughs> I see. Anyway, jumping right into it. Welcome to Baldur's Gate. A veritable nest of rats and vipers clinging to the rocky slopes overlooking the Cheonthar River. From their high perches in the upper city, the local nobles, known as the Petriers, gaze down with veiled contempt upon the common rabble in the grimly lower city, which hugs the foggy harbor. The whole of Baldur's Gate uh, reeks of blood, crime, and opportunity. One can easily fathom why pirates and traitors are drawn to this place like flies to a carcass. Following the river further east would eventually lead you to El Turel, capital of the holy land of El Trugard. Or at least, that was the case until a few days ago. The flood of refugees from El Turel has gotten worse since the news first arrived that the city has fallen. Everyone is saying Baldur's Gate is next. But no one truly knows who or what has claimed El Torel. The Patriarchs pay a mercenary army called the Flaming Fist to protect their interest in Baldur's Gate, and by extension, the city itself. <laughs> the Flaming Fist has gained even more power since their charismatic leader, Ulder Ravenguard, claimed the title of Grand Duke a few years ago. Apparently, Ravenguard is missing as well. In his absence, the Flaming Fist has sealed the city's gate to staunch the flow of refugees. No one is allowed in, no one is allowed out. All of this was brought to your attention shortly after you were drafted by the Flaming Fist to help defend the city. Your orders are to speak to Captain Zodge at a basilisk's gate, which pierces the city's eastern wall and takes its name from the various statues that rest in its niches and perch atop the battlements. Unseen beyond the sealed basilisk gate, uh, I need some water, I apologize, is a dirt road that stretches through the outer city slums to the bridge known as Wyrm's Crossing. Uh, just before that bridge, as a little fun fact, is where Faith is from. Or was, until uh, 10 days ago. 
Dozens of Flaming Fist soldiers are trying to control an angry mob of commoners eager to leave the city, armed with only a vague description of Captain Zodge, a tall man with long grey hair, a beard, a moustache, and a leather eye patch. It takes you a while to find him. A fight breaks out between soldiers and commoners, and you finally spot the one-eyed captain as he wades into the fray and begins just just throwing punches. Just another day in the city of blood. You guys are over yonder. I'm gonna go ahead and reveal this is the Basilisk Gate right over here. Okay. And this is where we're gonna start our little adventure. I'm gonna put a little dot there to just mark it. There we go. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So you guys are over yonder, and you just you just see this this, this babble, this crowd of, of 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 outer city people trying to get in, and this line of five six soldiers forming a line blocking them. And anybody who gets just too close just gets a gauntlet in the face. Among them is Ouch. this man. Hmm. Oh, oh. there it is. Yes. Uh, oh, that's cool. Eye patch man. Eye patch man. How do you proceed? Oh, we're just going right into this. Yes. Okay then. Sorry, so yes. Our orders were to go to Captain Zodge and then help him like control the crowd, basically. You were simply giving orders to see Captain Zodge and hear out further orders. Uh, people here and there, all sorts of adventurers have been drafted uh, since the guard has been spread too thin and needed uh, just adventurers to fill its ranks for the time being. Mercenaries hiring mercenaries, so to speak. Uh, you are simply to speak to this guy. Um. Right. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. I'll proceed on yes. if nobody wants to do anything. Just watch this fight ongoing. I'll just give you guys an opportunity to roleplay if you so wish. I, I was gonna say Valen's gonna like uh, cup his his hands to his mouth and shout, "Zodge, Captain!" And uh, yeah. So you call out to the man in the in the eye patch, and he. Lifts his head just for a moment, squints in distance, trying to find if it's one of his soldiers calling him. And then one of the common folk just punches him in cheek and he goes, Damn! And he, he just gives him a backhand in return. And then he just keeps on pummeling. <laughs> just keeps on... <laughs> this this goes right. on for like like a while. No one is arrested during the Farkas, you observe. But uh, several commoners are beaten and have their money uh, pouches, quote-unquote, confiscated. After the brief skirmish with Zodge and his soldiers. Are any of them uh, seriously injured? Uh, uh, literally all of them. <laughs> like, okay. people, people are walking away limping. Some people are in manacle, manacles already. Others are unconscious on the dirt side. It, it's a massacre. Nobody's uh, dead, but you know. yeah. Okay, Valen's gonna go up to the ones that are unconscious or gravely injured and just use one point each from his... Um, Lay on hands just to try yeah. and make get sure them they're, all right. they're 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 breathing and stuff. Yeah, sweet. So I've got yeah, I've got five <laughs> points of that. So is that like I assume I use that like five uh, you, times? Um, use I would say like only. Uh, give me a moment here. Yeah. Well, How many? If you're, you're gonna be one very one. yeah, if you're gonna be very giving with this, you you find two people who are. In a, Truly critical condition that, like, not not gonna lie, if you didn't do this, they would have probably died on the streets, as such as the way of the city. But you do manage yep. to, you know, lay your hands on, provide some aids. A uh, few of the, uh, the Flame Fist uh, soldiers kind of give you a side eye and scoff. Like, oh, look at this softy, kind of, kind of you know? <laughs> but the, the one person, uh, a young woman, actually, is in her 40s with, 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 uh, with auburn hair, Looks up at you, and as you kind of fix up her black eye, she gives you a smile and thanks. Um, another man, uh, you lay your hands on him, and as soon as you fix his uh, dislocated jaw, he looks at you and he's like, "Get off me!" Oh. And he just kind of w w was off into the outer city. So th some are thankful, some are not. <laughs> All right. It will be a lie to say that you're surprised by Zodja's handling of the situation. After all, the Flaming Fist captains have a tremendous latitude when it comes to keeping the peace in Baldur's Gate, especially here in the lower city. When a skirmish finally disperses, Zodge 
fixes his cloak, he dusts himself off, and uh, walks in your direction. He walks past Valen and looks at him and he's like, Get up, boy. Leave him alone. If you didn't want it, they shouldn't have, uh, should have listened to me the first time. Your conduct has been rather zealous, Captain. Look at my shoulder, boy, and he points toward a badge on his shoulder on. Count the stripes with me, son. How many stripes? Three. You know what that means? It means I'm in command here. When you get these three stripes, you can talk to me like we're equals. Until then, form up. And he points to a line where three other strangers have already assembled. Some are just commoners. One of them is actually bearing a sword. Uh, you know, a smith for sword. He just points to that, like, assembled in line. Yeah, Valen forms up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grimms forms up. Everybody, nobody gives him sass? Mm, no. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Right. Might fight him later, but I don't know. <laughs> might, might, depends yeah, how I feel. Yeah, I know. Trust Do me, I've, I've played this I've played this campaign beforehand, like just the first chapter, and I was like, Zod's just a fucking dick. I want to punch him in the face. Yeah, I already don't like this guy. <laughs> so I'm going to try and stay on the good side for a sec. For now, yeah. <laughs> Valen is polite to, uh, <laughs> for the most part. Right. Yeah. So as the captain walks in your direction with military stride, pacing back and forth as you assemble into line, he goes, Y'all enjoy the show, lads. It's about time we got some fresh faces around here. He turns to one of his soldiers behind him, to you, um... Jonathan, do you mind doing me a favor? And actually, do you mind all of you doing me a favor as I'm speaking all through this? Change your nicknames on Discord so it's your character name, and then in uh, close uh, brackets, it's your player name. That way, I know who's who, and I can just look at your portraits and quickly, because uh, I'm I have like five windows open on my end, and I it would make it so much easier for me to just see everybody's characters. But he turns to you, Bapo. Um, yeah, he's he's man in uniform. Turns one of his soldiers behind him, a tall dragonborn with scales the color of copper and gold clad in chainmail and carrying a great sword in a sheath strapped to his back. Sergeant Bapo, come meet your new squad. Oh, he's a sergeant? He's a sergeant. That's... He has two stripes on his shoulder. Wow. Life's good, Sergeant pays good. Uh, he wasn't kidding, yeah. He's one yeah, of these bastards. <laughs> <laughs> or not it's up I, to you I, yeah you get a good look at your squad um, to your surprise you even spot one of them a patriarch mm, one of those fancy pants in your squad unless you wish to say anything to your newfound friends I will carry right, right on morning men wait what are you doing? Sorry. Okay, is it the morning sure sure, sure. Okay. sure. Yeah. Morning, lads. Yeah, it's like just... it's like pitch dark. Morning, <laughs> morning, ladies. Morning. <laughs> Good morning. I'd be like, uh, no, no. That's how I'm gonna introduce myself from now on. Just morning, ladies. Valen, you Afro man, it. Oh, sorry. Valen just inclines his head at uh, Bapo, uh, Sergeant, and uh, yeah, that's, that's it. I just Erwin just kind of nods and kind of, you know, whatever. I can already tell which one of these are going to be the brown noses and which one of you are going to cause me some trouble. I don't like the look of that guy. And he points over to half orc there, who's said nothing throughout this entire interaction. I don't like <laughs> him. He's too, he's too quiet. I don't like orc. him. Half Winded orc. Him. Yeah. Look at him dressing his gi. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is a monk going to do in this situation? What is this, car tour? Haha, <laughs> DM jokes only the DM hey. gets. <laughs> Don't let me near civilians, because I can just one-tap them with my finger. You can. That's the scary part. That's the scary part. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, they just they just die. Like, those people got up. They won't it, get up. Merc, Merc just walks up to a person, taps on the shoulder, and he's like, Oh, my, whoa, Shindo, you. Let me You gotta. You just gotta follow that up with Nani. You can't just leave it alone. Uh, <laughs> right. So Captain ja Zaj, he kind of uh, saunters on over beside Bapo, takes a uh, attention stance, and addresses you all. The refugee crisis, says the captain. A stoked fears that Baldur's Gate might suffer the same fate as El Torel. 
of which nothing remains but a hole in the ground, apparently. Our Grand Duke, Ulder Ravengard, was <laughs> visiting Elturel on a diplomatic mission when the city was destroyed. Coincidence? I think not. The Knights of Elturgard call themselves Hellriders. A few of them escape the destruction and think that we're somehow to blame for Elturel's downfall. What a bunch of self-righteous rabble- And then he stops himself, looks at Valen's like, <clears throat> Right. We are arresting I... them on sight, but some of them have volunteered themselves and comply with the law. So that will do. We are too stretched on men to argue the fact. So welcome, newest member. What is your name, boy? Valen. What kind of a loving mother names her son Valen? <laughs> Valen's hands clench into fists. Um... <laughs> so Captain Zodge is gonna do something here. Um. Persuasion is wisdom, and he doesn't have that, so... He rules a three, and he doesn't quite know this, your clenching of fists. Uh, so he's just kind of like, probably just smirks so like he just won the conversation. Valen... Yeah, so Valen knows when to keep, knows to keep quiet. <laughs> Valen starts to like, slowly smolder. <laughs> like, oh yeah, no, I was I was thinking yeah. of having that, where he, he literally smolders when he's angry in his body. Yeah, with, with a three perception on, on the captain's part, even if you were smoking up, he's too into himself to even notice that. So, yeah. he, you're standing to the right of him, so he can't even fucking see you. He's yeah, he up. doesn't have perfect vision as it turns. It's <laughs> blank. <laughs> right. He's on the side of the, the the blind eye, just just out of view. Every day is a shit show. We are arresting bandits and and malcontents left and right every day, and that left us shorthanded to deal with another problem. For that, I need all of you. He rummages in a leather pouch at his side and hands each of you a copper badge bearing the flaming fist coat of arms. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah, and he yeah, just yeah. kind of hands each of you a badge. You can secure it to your person, you can hide it, it's up to you. I. Mm -hmm. Uh, Valen, well, Valen has a symbol of, like, the companions, like a banner or a signet or something. I haven't figured out how he displays that yet, but... I imagine it's kind of it's dead ass, because you're part of the knights, right? Yes. Either you have, uh, Hunter, help me out with this. What do you call the piece of cloth that goes over armor? Oh. Sork, sork, sork coat. Sork, either or, you have uh, that, or it's literally emblazed on the, uh, metal. It's up to you, I realize. You're up to your character, okay. so you decide Yeah, that. I... Oh yeah, I think he has like a. Is he's it... not going to put the badge on. He's going to hold on to it, but he's not going to put it on. Sweet. He's but got... is, is it fair to say that, like, from just looking at you, it's pretty obvious to tell that you're one of the Elto Elto guards? Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. got he's got a, a tabard with with like the the symbol of yeah. the two sides. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so uh, Captain Zodge goes on to speak. These badges give you license to act in my name. Mm, you should be honored. Baldur's Gate has long been plagued by followers of the Dead Three. The gods, Bane, Baal, and Merku. And as he says the word Bane, um, your, um, your ears, you can just you turn your head, uh, Erwind, and you recognize the name. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize the name? Like, do you remember? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I remember. We can share, we can share with everybody if, later. Yeah, the city has been plagued by the followers of these death three, the gods, Bane, Baal, and Mirku. I thought we had wiped them out long ago, but apparently not. These purveyors of fear and death are taking advantage of the current crisis to commit, mur commit murder sprees throughout the city. Mute. Their hmm? Nothing. <laughs> Their most recent victims was my very own lieutenant. We found the poor bastard with his neck sliced ear to ear and more puncture marks, wounds, than a pincushion. Damn those bastards. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, Valen, um... Yes. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Is that... Like, the, the guy that we as a party uh, accidentally killed, did he have... Can I remember if he had the, um... Like the insignia of a lieutenant. Yes. And I was also yeah. add to that that flaming fists don't die often. They're right. not typically the target 
of criminals because they're too high profile. I mean, ask your fellow uh, low key. I mean, Z Zotch doesn't know this, but ask your fellow uh, guild member there, and 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 she'll probably tell you the same thing. Like, you don't want to go for high profile targets unless you're gonna get the job done quickly, discreetly, and get out of there. So, so just to be clear, we didn't yeah. kill the lieutenant. Apparently. Wait. Perhaps. Sorry. Did you say we did? We you killed. Did or we... You killed a lieutenant of the Flaming Fist. Whether it was the one he's talking oh, about, we don't know. I don't think that it has that one. much bearing of. It doesn't matter whether it was that one or not. <laughs> but he's speaking about <laughs> well, one, okay. and and is it? And does two and two fit together? Is up to you guys to decipher. But uh... so it just so happened. Yeah. To murder a lieutenant and one of the lieutenants, he's yeah. That's fun. Um, <laughs> Your little secret. <laughs> Sweet. Valen's going to pipe up. Um, so he, he said, like, they killed my own lieutenant. Um, and Valen's going to say, what part of the city did that happen in? Uh, I'll tell you, actually. Uh, let me just... Uh, I have answers. I just have to switch maps on my end. Yeah, uh, right. It took place in the place... Uh, on the docks of Eastway, which uh, Eastway would be on your map, if I, I'll just ping it, is right over yonder. So Eastway, uh, I would say about, uh, he describes the streets, and those of you who know Baldur's Gate, it is about two blocks away from uh, Erwin's smithy. So it's that... more, more and more coincidence happening here. It's Oh, that's the same place where our guy died. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just about, either that right or it's a very, very, very interesting coincidence that two guys died at the same time. <laughs> In the same place. It's, it's same day, same place, same... <laughs> what was his name again? <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what did this guy look like? Can you describe him to me real slow, like... <laughs> All right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Valen uh, claps his trap up. Fair enough. Um, he goes on. As my appointed deputies in this matter, you'll have license to kill these wretched on sight, find their lair, and wipe them out. Eliminate anyone who gets in your way, and don't worry about the collateral damage. If you do what I say, I'll see to it that each of you receive two hundred gold pieces in addition to my gratitude. Which is worth considerably more. A few blocks from the Basilisk Gate is Elf Song Tavern. A spy named Tarina hangs out there, gathering rumors for the guild. She owes me a favor, so tell her you work for me. Ask her what she knows about the Death Three, and for the love of Baldurin, be nice. Tarina has dangerous friends. Any questions? No. Dismissed. And he turns with a soldier's turn, 180, and he resumes he his post. He wants you to go hunt down members of the Dead Three Cult. A cult has been ravage, uh, ravaging the city in a series a spree of murders, of just sowing chaos in the city. These worshippers of, of dead gods. Anybody of you can rule me at any time skill checks to find out more information about any situation. For example, in this situation, you can rule me a history check or a religion check, and depending on how well you rule, I can be like, well, your character has read up on this somewhere in the libraries, or from your background, you know this. If you want more information, certainly. You can certainly try ruling for it, and I can mm -hmm. describe who, what, sure. when, where. So do you anyway. know how does does anybody know have any questions about how to roll stuff in roll twenty? Mm, no. no. Okay. Uh, I do have one question. I'm related to roll twenty. Do you have uh, perhaps all the results of the rolls we did for our little dark secret somewhere? Uh, in terms of who did what, you mean, or what yeah. happened? In terms of who did what. Uh, I would say, forget the rules, because I, I ruled out just, just as an experiment to see what what. I gave you guys an option to pick what what fits your character. Like, for example, I, f I don't think that Valen would be the one delivering the fatal blow, personally. Uh, it's up to Valen to, to, to choose what he would have done. 
Uh, all I asked for is that I think we can agree that one of you probably took matters into their own hands. Somebody started the fight by, you know, saying something as innocent as, Hey, you, stop that! And, and somebody else escalated the situation until, you know, one thing left another and... All right. It's one dead guard. And yeah. one... What's important about the whole situation is the woman. Am I also allowed to roll a religion check or just one check? So I'll deal with the checks one time. Now, did I answer your question, Hunter? Yes. Right. So with a 11 history check, uh, Byron, you know two things. First of all, uh, finding out about the cult of the dead three, um, these dead three are, are deities. Lesser deities, four more men who have achieved divine statue and then uh, assembled their own cults of worship. Bane, the uh, death god of might, is all about brutality. Baal is the god of murder. He's all about subterfuge, uh, his, his members hiding in the shadows. Many of your fellow peers have, you know, ventured into the, the more... Uh, darker alleys of the lower city, never to be seen again, and you suspect that this is one of many <clears throat> series of, of attacks by these members of Baal. Bane, Baal, Merkul is all about undeath. Together, there's the, the three gods are worshipped by the same cult, and and for a month and two, be, even before the thing with Elturel, this cult has been running amok, uh, seemingly resurrected back into action. As if somebody out there is um, that's taking to provide them newfound support. Also with an 11, you know that one of your fellow peers, uh, Klim Jasso, spelled like so. Sorry? Klim oh, Jasso, that's his name. One of your friends, uh, it's up to you what kind of relationship you had with this person, but you know him for sure because you are one of the patriarchs. Uh, Klim Jasso, a member of the Jasso family. Um, who live uh, about there about, um, has disappeared. Many suspect the war, so he's been murdered, but he's one of the most recent victim of the noble family. So these guys don't discriminate. They attack both poor and, and rich people. Everybody's at risk. Is that, is that enough for a history check? Right, I understand. So basically, this cult has been causing issues. You are ever so slowly fading away from the mic there. I'm trying... I'm trying to turn you up. <laughs> Speak right into the mic. So basically, this mm -hmm. cult has been causing issues with the people about two months now. Oh, mercy. Oh, I no. can't hear. Yeah, the, it's not just me, right? No. Yeah, I, no. I, I am sorry, Lorian, but like, I, the, you, you're, you're fading out. I don't know. I'm not too sure why. It's it's like your bandwidth is slowly... If, Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, mm -hmm. this cult has been causing issues within the kingdom for the past two months now. Yes. And a guard was killed here that we are responsible for. But they think, but the um, the captain thinks that it's part that the cult is responsible for it, and he wants us to go. Yes. Out. The the flaming yeah, fist oh, and the captain money. like they they both they pull their fingers toward the most likely situation, which is the cult. Just you know, there's a serial killer on loose. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Look, you, is there something wrong with your mic? I'm not too sure, or your internet there. Uh, if if you want, you can always type the chat. I, I read chat and I, I I listen at the same time. Um, yeah, that might be better. It it, it sounds like it's a mic. It doesn't because if it was the internet, you'd be cutting off. That sounds like your your just your gain is not high enough to pick up your voice or something. I'm not too sure. But if uh, it, do you have? Mm -hmm. There's that uh that that thing where like you can turn on and it noise suppression. If you have noise suppression on, turn it off. I don't know. I don't know if it's that. But if you have any vital questions and I don't reply, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's, it's simply because I can't hear you. Feel free to at any time type anything to chat. Can you hear me better now? Like, uh, I would like Sorry. to roll a history check on yes. what I might know of the lower city. Uh, for sh I mean. Ask me a specific question. I will be able to 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 answer it if the character would know it, and if you, you don't know it, I'll make you roll for it. Mm. Am I familiar with? Ah, uh, never mind. No. I have to think about it more. 
Like I have information. Okay, so I'll divide it into like topics, and you can ask me about. Like I have information okay. about the the lower city, is the one that's that's pretty much uh, surrounding the upper city, uh, quote unquote foddering it. It's just fodder in case of an attack. It is surrounded by a wall, and there are three gates. Um, you know the first one, the Basilisk Gate, so named after the gargoyles on top of it. And there's two others. Uh, the Cliff Gate, which is by the cliff. And uh, Eastway, which... Uh, no, sorry. And Baldur's Gate, which is the main gate uh, into the city. Uh, Wait, there, there are neighborhoods... My character? Mm -hmm. sorry, 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 go ahead. No, you, players take priority over me. Oh, I... Um, are, isn't our? Sorry. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, isn't my character patrolling the, the the main gate? Right? Isn't that where I am? Yes, correct. You, for the last uh, your I would say last year, you've been doing this for a while. You've been patrolling the the Basilisk and most yeah. of the lower city. So you 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 know all about the the local neighborhoods. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you know. They, they, they go by names, and really, you can ask me later, and I can give you that information. Uh, they go by right. many names, and there's much information about them. There's Bloom Ridge, Brampton. Brampton is over here. Um, uh, you don't usually venture outside of city walls. It's it's kind of risky even for a guard to venture outside of city walls. In fact, the outer city is not even guarded, which is why it's so high on crime and everything, because it's not really watched by anyone. Um, okay, so we're, mm -hmm. we're going to the outer city, right? You are going to. You've been asked to go to Elf Song Tavern, which is a very well known. I'm going to show you on a map. It's a very well known tavern right over yonder. Not too far from okay. where you are. In the lower city. Okay. Um, about the lower city, I'm just going to finish with. Uh, it is run. Because it's not run by the Patriarchs per se, it is run by people called crews. Uh, think of them like unions. If you're uh, an apothecary, you have the apothecary crew. If you're a blacksmith, you have the blacksmith crew. Uh, similar people with similar goals unite together. And those are the people that run the place. Aside from that, there's also the kingpins, which are... That's the, the guild. That's the criminals of the city. Okay. Um, there's a whole lot of information I can share about. Uh, uh, I, I will that share... answers everything I had questions for. Yeah. For, uh, we're in the Elf Tavern. Those of you who have lived in the city... For at least, I mean, Erwin has lived here for like ten years. Some of you have for lived here for a while there. now. Yeah, I mean, you, you, Bapo, you've, 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 you've patrolled here enough to know it. Elfson yeah. Tavern, um, despite its rough and tumble clientele, this tavern is one of the most popular in Baldur's Gate. At infrequent and seemingly random intervals, it has been known to host a disembodied elven voice that cuts through the crowd. Its song, haunting. Enough to magically dim the room's lanterns and make even the bar's most hardened customers weep. Aww. Like, that's where it gets its name from. And that's really what you know about it. Most of you don't really venture into taverns unless you know what you're doing. Because Baldur's Gate, the city of blood... Let's just say, if I was a food critic, I would describe the taverns hard on your stomach. Especially when you get a knife in it. So, <laughs> yeah. Does that? I'm trying to answer the questions without revealing too much information. Does that kind of answer it? Yeah. Okay. I, uh, guys, I, I do have proficiency in religion, um, so I could make a check, but I don't have like a specific question. So, I mean, do we want to just go talk to this lady, or do you guys have more questions? I'm down well, to go talk to her. Well, let's just go talk to her. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Um, you you like, can you guys hear me? I, yes. Yeah. 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 Can you get a new mic? Yeah, this is a different mic. Wait, that's yeah, much better. Right. So I'm going yeah. to I'm going to go ahead and just I'm uh, real quick set a new profile picture for uh, Jonathan there because he asked me to. It's gonna take me literally like a minute because it's Photoshop. So let me just do it real quick. Um, because I have to make your token too. Um, oh, you have to make it a token. Oh, well, I mean, like it, it's not gonna take me long. It's 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 like a minute. Uh, just just bear with me here. Um, just so so we can have you know for the sake of his immersion, he can have a character that's in his image. Um, there's the frame, and you sent me the picture, right? Yes. There yeah, yeah, I did. Awesome. Uh, open that up in Photoshop. 
And dust up. The amount of Baldur's Gate, like the, the video game uh, music that is playing is like just sending me back in time to when I used to play that game. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody actually like appreciates the music because... Oh, dude. Whenever we were sitting here explaining it, the music went perfectly with what you were saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I tend to try. I mean, I, I didn't have, I couldn't prep for this session, but I'm tend to like literally prep playlists in front for uh, second immersion. I love that shit in games. Dude, I, I I used to do that for my games. I I really appreciate that you do that, man. Yeah, and plus you guys have control over music. Not this session so much, just because this is intermixing. But once you get a, a sense of what the world is like, especially later on for those new you know, view who know where this is all going uh if you have a cool kick a song for combat or anything just shoot the link my way i'll put it on um we did all time curse of Strahd. it's pretty fun uh you know what? yeah oh, sorry you know what? you know what that means we could have like a light motif or theme for each character that could like absolutely play. i've had oh. playlists for each character and i put them on during roleplay sessions yes That's um, so cool. every time i do like i write a hook for a player i have like your two, three songs to just play in the background on repeat. So uh, cool. All right, so that's your token done. I'm just gonna upload it to rule 20 right now. Uh, put it into the characters. Your name is uh, Bapo. Bapo. Do, you, do you guys right. want to see my uh, new character thing? You'll, yeah, yeah I mean, they'll see it in like see yeah. it in a sec. Yeah, it's, in the game. It will, I'm literally uploading it as we speak now. Um, close that. Yeah, dude, uh, the old one looks sick, but I saw that the one. The old one was, like, was it's one. stock. It's not really you. I get it. Um, but he he said he saw mine and he got jealous. Yeah, he got. He I saw was my token. <laughs> he was like, oh, halls, and I was like, oh, his looks sick. I want one like that. Oh, and it's okay. Uh, there it is. God it's uploading it. now, and I hate my mouse. It is doing stupid things. Don't worry, when we do this live, uh, we won't have any issues, so... <laughs> nice! What do, you mean, what do you mean when we do this live? I know, I, I'm joking around. It's a, it's a joke from Matt Colville's stream. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, HP, AC, linked up. You have 18 AC, oh. kick-ass, awesome. Sorry, I'm just I'm just impressed to see level 1s with 18 AC over them. I'm like, ooh, look, alright. <laughs> uh, I, I do as well. <laughs> I, yeah. I have 18 as well. 18 what? AC. Armor class. So, Bapo, you should wow. have oh, it yeah. uploaded now, I believe. And you can actually set it yeah, as yeah. your uh, as your profile. Uh, if you go to chat and you go down <laughs> there uh, where it says as, and you click on that list and you select your character, it will actually show up. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. That's a nice picture. Uh, all right. Let's oh, see. I, have the, I have the pictures turned off here. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I do too. At the bottom, we have it set to name only. It's your preference. I need it as the end just because, like, I like quick reference. Um, yeah. But yeah, so do you guys just want to. First and foremost, I'm going to do something here. Just to. Whenever we have an uh, overview over city maps, I'm going to have an icon that will tell everybody where everybody is. Uh, do we want a symbol that represents the group or just whatever I find? It doesn't matter. Be nice to have a symbol that represents the group. Uh, we can but... come up with a group Something. name as symbol afterwards once we get in more into yeah. the campaign. Um, Just do whatever you can find for now. Uh, let's see here. Like a little we can s change it later. I'm looking for like like a like a like a I don't know. I, like give me an object or something. Ooh, this is nice. Snake. Sword. Shield. Snake. Yeah, shield would be good. Um. <laughs> Just <laughs> Hunter pulled dental plan in there. <laughs> that's his. That's his personalized um, shield. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it for now. <laughs> okay. Whatever. It works. So you're here where shield points. Uh, at, and Elf Song Tiver Tavern is over yonder. Uh, do you guys want to venture straight there? Just streamline it, or do you want to stop anywhere in the city? Uh, there are various shops. This is a big city. Uh, you can always do it later. You can always do it now. I'm just, I'm not gonna railroad you guys. It's your choice. I say we just go straight there. I say oh. we just go straight there. Okay. I mean, we we have all of our equipment, right? Uh, yeah. Whatever is on your sheet, you have. What, it's, okay. You know, uh, if you ever need anything else in terms of adventuring gear or really anything that comes to mind, it's like, hey, can I buy some soap? I'll be like, yeah, there's a soap shop, there's a character, I'm gonna improvise it all. Let's go. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what D&D is all about. 
All right, so that being said, I'm going to load you guys up to the Elfsung Tavern map. Uh, you are not going to have any visual starting out because your tokens are on the map. But I'm going to be putting you guys one by one on here. So... Oh, you have... Uh, it's the temple music from from Baldur's Gate 1. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could, I could put some tavern music on, actually, for more immersion in a moment. Uh, everybody but Bapo will have visual. Bapo, I have to set your, your line of sight on your token because I didn't do that. But everybody, I'm spawning you one by one right now, and you should be able to like see the outside of this map, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bapo, you have... You're a dragonborn. Oh. So you have... What is it? Hold on, let me see here. Uh... Has sight. But you don't have dark vision as a dragonborn. Okay. So you just see what you see unless you have a source of light. Okay. Uh, edit. Set token as this one. Save. Uh, do you see? Do you have visual? I'm just the bottom corner. Yeah, I see. yeah that's pretty much it. Uh, and I will describe uh, where you guys are walking into as... Oh, oh, I'm just going to open it. Uh, Baldur's Gate. Chapter 1. Elf Soul Tavern. That's what it's hmm? uh, Didn't skip anything there. Okay, cool. Uh, server music. Let me find some nice tavern music for you all. Some nice. Anybody play World of Warcraft? I do not. Nope. I used, nope. To, play, I used to play that like crack. Paul's PC probably couldn't even handle it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't, we we I don't gotta, talk about his PC. No, no. I, what do you mean PC? Talking. It's a laptop. It's a laptop. 73 Shit, years old. Laptop. Calculator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a calculator. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Nice ambiance going on. Does Valen know about the the <laughs> story about like the the disembodied voice? In the I Gate? well, um, does Valen? No, because Valen's not from Baldur's Gate. He lived his entire life in uh, Elturel, correct? Yes. Okay, he, so he just does. I mean, he, he spends how much? How much time did you spend in Baldur's Gate? Um. If you spend more than 10 days in Baldur's Gate, you know about Elf Song Tavern. It's like gossip everywhere. People know about this place. You've never right, been? But yeah. I think we said a few weeks. Well, how long has it been since Elturel fell? Uh, Two weeks. Two weeks ago, about. Okay, so about a week and a half, so he knows. Yeah, so so exactly. You you know about this place, but uh, you walk into this place for the first time like most people. Some of you have been to this place, but it's different every time. So, um, that being said... Right, you, you, you approach, you, you guys can control your, your tokens, walk around okay. as you will. Uh, is there a door there? Ooh. There is a door there, that's why, okay. So go, go ahead and walk. You walk by, you see a gargantuan half-ogre bodyguard <laughs> standing right over half yonder. Half-ogre? Half-ogre. That yes. sounds painful. Just Hashtag, product of rape, like me. <laughs> that's, uh, we're not, we're not oh going with that. <laughs> Guys, well, I guess not. I guess the dragonborn sounds pretty painful too, to be honest. <laughs> so they had kind of the eggs. Uh, guys, with yes. the, the the rape, can we not casually joke around D about don't. rape? Don't. Yeah, just just I'm 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 doing the the open palm. The where are you going, buddy? What? <laughs> Sticking around. <laughs> yeah, the, the front door is this way. Back. Like like the bodyguard is turning around and it's just like, hey, no funny business. <laughs> Come here. Come here. You. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Come here. Take peeks into the windows. Yeah. <laughs> huh? What is over here? Looks, looks. You dip, in, dip into your face like you tried to meta game. Is that it? Like, um, <laughs> but um, yeah. No, seriously. Uh, that that being said, face. rape. Don't don't go with that. But yeah, the, you you are welcome to go in. The bug guard is just mostly there to, in case you know, in case of trouble. Uh, well, then in that case, I am yeah. going right over here and I am getting myself some ale. Thank sure you thing. Much. You walk by, <laughs> you walk by this thing, which is an animated suit of armor. I can actually show it like this. Yeah, it's an animated oh, suit of cool. armor. <laughs> and, and as you walk by him, he like he just kind of turns his helmet ahead. There's nothing in there. It's just void. And he just like gives you like a little nod as you pass by. And uh, that's, that's sick. So cool. That's so that cool. is sick. <laughs> oh wow. Um, uh, sorry. So Valen, yes. when he stepped in, uh, so let me just. Hang on, I should be able to pull this up for you here. Um, 
Divine Sense. So he's heard about the, the stories about this disembodied ghostly yeah. voice. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's any creatures in here, be they celestial, fiend, or undead. If they're invisible, it only matters if they have total cover. So, you know, if they're behind a wall or a floor or something. But if it's I would within... say I would say you don't have a visual of whatever entity is known to sing now and then, but you do sense that this place has been not so much hollowed or consecrated, but it is uh, touched. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. there there is something weird about this place. Um, nonetheless, uh, Erwind and uh, Mork, you walk up to the bar where a a bartender stands, and he looks at you all and he's like. Ah, evening. What you having? Ew. ew. All the ale. My guy is somewhat of an alcoholic, so. <laughs> ale, <laughs> ale, ale, ale. Unless you got some stronger How about stuff. special then? We have some fish pies brewing in the kitchen. Fresh out of the oven. Nah, just ale. All of it. Drink yourself. <laughs> Drinking. Don't don't drink on an empty stomach, kids. Watching this this. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, don't. So an ale is is pretty cheap. Surprisingly cheap. It's like two coppers per mug. Um, you know. I have, I have uh, a lot of not a lot, but fifteen gold. Yeah. So, so way it works. <laughs> ten silvers make one gold. Uh, ten coppers make one silver. Just breaking into tens. This is where you practice your math. And yes, I do care about you guys managing your money. Please do. I, I don't want to manage that for you. But yeah, two coppers uh, for each of you all getting right. an ale. Uh, he pours you all nice frothing mugs and, and just kind of slides them over over the bar. And he's like, well, what you up to tonight? Hey there, uh, Arrow. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it's... I'm just assuming, I'm just assuming you lived here, you, know. you might you might know yeah. what happens. Just a lot of work at the forge, you know, the usual. Can we exchange our cool. Can you cut off? Can, can you cut out the, the the little talk? Dude, I don't I don't like the little talk. I will I will literally give you a, another free flag end if you just don't talk to me about like your business or the weather. I really don't care. Uh, well, well, I'm gonna pay I you hundred dollars to fuck off. <laughs> uh, that hey, was I'll, purely I'll a sarcastic that. question, but I'm glad I'll that you're that. in a good mood. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I will take all of your money. I just jazz and kind of like taps you on the shoulder. I'm just kidding, man. Like enough, you know me. You know, you well, know, I... Durnan. <laughs> That's no, his I... name now. <laughs> well, uh, isn't Durnan in? Yes. Everwinter. Yes. So, oh. how does the money work? Because there's uh, so ten coppers is one silver. Ten silvers is one uh -huh. gold. Okay, so uh, why oh. there's oh, this shit, that is one? Yeah, yeah, I'm sharing it to those of you who like lore. <laughs> who know who know who this guy is? But yeah, lore. Okay, because I gotta do math. And the uh, the ale was two copper. Two copper? Yeah, it's okay. super cheap. Food and food and drink is very much medieval prices, where it's abundant and super cheap. Are we allowed to just exchange our coins into like smaller value coins without? Yeah, he has change. Shop to do that. Yeah, he has change. I'm All not gonna right, make you sorry. pay one gold for flag and fail. My room right. got <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of money. It's like a hundred bucks for a shot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that better get me screwed up then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's pretty good ale. <laughs> no, nah, just kidding. It's it's mediocre ale. It's okay. You said it was uh, one copper, yeah, or two? Two coppers. Two. They're tall glasses. Two. You know? I yeah. remember. Yeah, what one gold piece ale just kills you instantly. <laughs> Um, it's like the um, what's it called from GTA? That one shot that fucks you up immediately. Yes. Yeah. I don't anyway, remember what it's called. We just, called, but it's like we just that. call it whiskey. Are Are you guys still doing a thing, or could I talk to the animated suit of armor? We came to talk <laughs> to him about the cold, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, most I of us started doing our own thing at first, though. No, one at a time. I'll, I'll, I'll be everywhere. If you guys, if you guys have any questions or you want to do anything, go ahead. It's an open world. So well, uh, I will just be here enjoying my ale. Okay. Who are the guys sitting at the tables? So the guys sitting at the tables are a bunch of gruff-looking. Some of them are guards, off-duty guards. Some of them are literally just uh, 
um, 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 thugs, for lack of a better word. Um, others are just common folk. You know, the, the usual clientele here is kind of shady, but uh, nobody seems to be start, uh, starting any trouble just yet. What was just the name yet. of the person that Captain Zog sent us to find? Tarina. Tarina? Tarina, yeah. Is that. Uh, and where would she, she be located? Right here. Yell her name. So, why do you guys do? Do you, do you yell her name? Do you ask Durden? Do you ask okay. the, the thugs at the tables? Do you ask the, the, the sort of let's armor ask, whose name is Clank, by let, the way? Let's ask the bartender. Well, she's the only woman in here, right? Like. Clank might be a woman, you never know, it's a suit of armor after all. Uh, I, well, I mean, well, Valen, Valen's talking to the suit of armor, or trying to in the corner, so I mean, whatever okay. we... So, hold on. Hey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hold on. You're like, poking him, poking the armor, like, hey, no. move again. <laughs> hey, do that thing. Please stop poking me. <laughs> what? Please stop oh. poking me. All right. <laughs> oh God. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> all, all, all right. Sorry. Kinda, he kind of like s moves off and accidentally like bumps into the table. Oh. Uh, okay. Um. It goes and sits. Oh, I was not I'm expecting in... the armor to talk. Just because I'm an, 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 an inanimate object, I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I feel no, I, I have emotions. The rule. Well, Valen, oh, Valen moves back over. No, no. Of course. I, <laughs> um. I didn't think of you as an inanimate suit of armor. I'm. I'm Valen. It's nice to meet you. And uh, Valen's gonna he, put out his he, hand. He extends a hand to shake yours, but instead of shaking your hand, he shakes the wrist guard, like the piece of metal that's on yours, as if he doesn't yeah. he doesn't even see your body. He only sees your armor. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Valen Valen is wearing gauntlets. He's not sure uh, where where your hand is, so he's just kind of like grasping at your armor. All right, <laughs> somewhere there. Like, where is it? What's like the quality of his of his like plate mail that he's pretty using, like, fucking shine? posh. Sorry. Pretty fucking posh. Uh, it's it's <laughs> yeah. Valen pulls up a chair. So how do you get your armor polished to that degree? That's a very personal question. Secondary question. Yeah. Can I kick his ass and steal his armor? <laughs> yeah, <good> uh, <laughs> sure. I, sorry. Does he not respond, or does what? I'm confused. No, sorry. You asked him how does he keep his armor so clean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He rummages in the back, uh, like in, in uh, like in the back plates, and he pulls yeah. out a rag and like a small vial that fits in his in his gauntlet of just like armor polish, and he's like, he's just like, every day, baby, just just keeping at it. <laughs> 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 is there? Is there? A sh <laughs> gotta gotta keep myself presentable, you know. People don't respect you if you don't keep yourself nice and nice and clean. You know, oh, you get you get beat up by a rusty suit of armor. Yeah, people people don't fear that. You see, a shining knight armor. Now there's an image. Oh, absolutely, I agree. Is there a shop in town where you get that? Yeah, no, absolutely. He goes. He he explains that pretty much any any general shop sells shiny armor. Sh right, okay. armor shiner oils and whatnot. Armor polish. Yeah, sure. How much would that suit of armor cost to buy off? Uh, <laughs> like, like full, <laughs> full plate armor? I'll tell you. 2000, From, right? It's like, no. It all depends. If it's magical, it is. But like, uh, full plate in 5e. Just regular old plate yeah, armor. Yeah, I have the answers. I just have to open the book <laughs> to, to look it up real quick. Uh, it More is uh, full plate costs you about a k and a half of gold pieces. Okay. It costs a what? One and a half thousand gold. One and a half thousand gold because it takes so much resource, time, and 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 labor to create plate armor. Um, yeah, custom fit. Yeah, we're talking. This is we're talking about the same armor you're looking at right now. I'm not saying he's worth that. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to get it made. What is? Oh. He's probably worth nothing if you beat him up to the point where he can't animate anymore. To be frank, but <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to gang up on that plus suit of armor? Seeing, God. seeing as I am a blacksmith, can I smith myself plate armor? Yes, it will actually cost you half the price because you already have the resources oh, wow. in your shop. Oh. So any any armor and any swords 
that the party wants, you can make in your shop for half price. If you spend the I gold, you have to spend price. the gold though on the materials, so half the value. Yeah. Wouldn't it? It would take a while to forge as well, right? Um, vanilla, yes, but I don't like that rule. As a DM, I usually say that oh, it takes you about a day, two, three to just work through it. It's something that you do over a long rest, <laughs> and then it's done by the long rest. And because I don't like people like waiting. I, what was it, Hunter? I read somewhere full plate armor takes like two months to craft. And I was like, no campaign lasts uh, yeah, two months. That, that was, two months? No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, I was like, well, can... what do you do for two months to craft armor? Apparently, it goes well, faster if you get people to help you, but. Yes. Um, yeah. uh, going off it, it's it's pretty accurate for how long it would take in real life. It's about about two months. It, it's typically I would cost. say yeah, I would sense. say it will take you about three days of a long rest. You know, of a long rest activity. One of the many activities you can take is uh, partnering up with you. Anybody in the party wants to help you out. Perhaps you even have uh, your own staff in your shop. It's up to you as a character. I mean, you've been running it for 10, ten years. Maybe you have fellow employees who run it when you're yeah. not in the shop. I mean, you're not there right now during day hours. Then somebody must be running it for you, right? Someone must be there. Yeah. But Something one thing is for certain: it's a close half, friend of mine or something. It, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, I mean, probably the last question Dylan's going to ask is, uh, "I'm a, I'm a bit new to the city. Have you been here a while?" Who the suit farmer? Yeah, suit farmer. Armor. Yeah, he's yeah. asking the armor. <laughs> he scratches his, uh, his helm and he's thinking about. He's like, I've, "I've been here since I was created, which <laughs> I've been it here since the day I was born. Three months. Eleven days. <laughs> Three much." Not that long ago, I, I have a fresh addition to this place. You know, they need the extra reinforcement. Schooner over there is not enough to keep uh, people at bay by herself, so I was placed there about, ooh, I don't know, three months ago? You were made three months ago to bolster the guard? Yeah, so he, he points to the half-ogre outside, who he refers to as Skuna, and she, apparently, whether or not she had people with her, uh, and they're not here anymore, or she was here alone all along, you're not too sure, but... She clearly needed help with the place because, you know, especially with the recent trouble with the Death 3 going about and, uh, yeah. Oh, you work for the, the bar, not the not the Flaming Fist? No, he works for the bar. He's part of the, okay. he's, he's with with the Affolger outside. They both kind of bodyguard the bar. They're with, they work for Durden, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, what was your name, by the way? Clank. Like the sound nice you make when you just, when you just... And he like kind of high fives himself. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That's a good name to say your name. What's your name? Clank. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Valen just kind of taps his his um, metal gauntlet on his chainmail that he's wearing. It says, "Nice to meet you, Clank." Cool, you made a friend. Yeah, he heads off. Yay! All right. Anybody else? I just I just like involving all the players. Anybody else wants to do anything? Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Mork or Bob? I'm Can I sit at this table and try to talk to these two people? Oh god. Uh, just, uh, yeah, for sure. I'll get to you. It's just Viren says something first, and I didn't oh, quite I'm catch sorry, that. Viren. I didn't hear you. What was it? Lorian. I didn't quite hear you. Oh, yes. I was asking if um, Mork or Babo bought drinks for everybody, or if it was just for themselves. I, th I think I everybody bought, bought a drink for themselves, right? But uh, that being yeah, said, yeah. if you want to be a st stinger with your 25 gold there, bud, then somebody else can buy a drink <laughs> for you. I was just asking, I was wondering if like there was already a jug of gold, I mean a jug of ale in front of me, or like if I had to you actually to buy one. Did you yeah, buy one? Yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll I got it one. covered. I got, I, got eight, I got eight copper left, so I can buy four more. Oh no! I, I was just asking yeah. for like roleplay purposes, like whether or not there was already a glass of. There is now. <laughs> there is so, now. So since everybody, since everybody bought ale, I'm gonna do it, some. Mm -hmm. Since everybody uh, bought well, an ale, and I must. Two of us don't have any. Ale does now. Drink. So those of you who do have, uh, uh, do me a Constitution saving throw roll. Constitution refers to your body and 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 just your general health. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. In this instance, it will be in the context of uh, are you a lightweight or not? Saving throws. I sure as hell hope I'm not. <laughs> Mork is a beast. Yeah, Mork is a monk. They he they have their own brewery in the monastery, apparently. So is Erwin. He's he's a true Viking. <laughs> he'll he'll just he'll drink you under the table. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because uh, I've been 
Viren, been drinking Viren, for you, so many you, years you now. drink your flagon, and even though it's on stronger of ales, you feel a slight tingle at the tip of your fingers. I, feel I like remember that. my first tingle. That was Definitely. the time. <laughs> my first tingle. <laughs> my <laughs> heroin has been drinking it's since the day everybody died, so... Yikes. That's... He's what? used to it now. So one second. Like what, was, what was that, Viren? I, I, again, weird mic. I feel that like nice lightheadedness. Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's like it's a nice feeling, you know, but uh, but you know, it's a, it's a, it's I'm just establishing how lightweight everybody is for the rest of this campaign. <laughs> a little fun <laughs> fun facts about a party. It, it's funny that you mentioned the brewery at the monastery because historically in like Germany, monks would brew beer as part of their like you know making money. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. Fun fact. Yes, yeah, how a lot of monasteries have wine. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's kind of like what I assume why you have such a high constitution save. Um, Jonathan there, uh, Bapo, you approached yeah. two well-armed patrons huddled around the table uh, in the main room. Um, they sit on padded chairs and kind of, they're like both leaning back with their feet on the table, uh, kind of leaning so far back that only two of the feet of a chair are on the floor. And as you approach, uh, one of them like opens one of his eyes and looks at you and it's like, yeah, what you want? Alright, what are you on? You're supposed to be looking for? What? I believe her name's uh, T Tarina. Tarina? Like that. Uh, uh, I want to ask him if they uh, they know who Tarina is. I think it's the woman to the left of you. Probably. <laughs> he he looks you up and down. You are the... No, I was going to tell you he's pissed Tarina? off, but you're one of the guards. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, no Tarina. Uh... But... Frank, do you know, do you know, T Trina, is that the woman you left with last night? You know, <gasps> big, oh, nice rack, that one. Was that, oh, was that one? No, our name was Jesse. She was nice. Uh, well, these two, these two are that. clearly inebriated, <laughs> and they don't know who you're talking to. But Durden kind of lifts, lifts up his head, and he's like, Psst, you're looking for Trina. And he kind of I... um, nods upstairs. And there's a set of stairs right over yonder, leading to the second oh. floor. Look at that, guys. Ah. <laughs> hey, we found her. Hey. But uh, Durden, no, not this person. That that person looks to be a, he, it's a server walking around. Um, oh. Half, oh, okay. half elf walking between here and the kitchen, back and forth, serving tables. She actually she actually approaches this table over here and uh, will await orders from you if you want anything to eat. But uh, Durden kind of lifts up his head and he nods toward the stairs right over yonder. Um, and... Um, he gives you like a little whisper of like, just don't, don't start in trouble, right? I, I, it's, it's, it's been like three days since the last incident, and it's been pretty nice. There's a last incident. There's a little sign. He's got like one of those little signs back there behind him. Listen, like this many days since incident. Listen, I call, I call this place the Elf Song Tavern, not the Foreshadowing to Cat Tavern, right? So. Just keep your uh, keep your sword in your sheath, but she is upstairs over the yonder. Yeah. Can't sheath these babies. I kiss my knuckles. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I assume he doesn't break the fourth wall in the game. No. What? I would like to try and assure Durnan that like we won't cause any issues. Sure. How would you like to do that? Uh oh. Five gold. <laughs> what? I'm not. No, him. let him, let him play me. <laughs> I'm not paying him. No, <laughs> God no. <laughs> Terrible he, idea. He so takes you he takes your word for it. As, saying, as a patriarch, like... kind of, he he knows that you're not gonna trick him because you guys typically are trustworthy. He actually, I've actually heard about you. He goes to say, I've I've heard about you. You're uh, you're uh, you are. You don't have your name beside your two shit. Uh, you're Viren, aren't you? That Revan Shade fella who's been uh giving away school. You know. You're a legend around here. Give me a second, guys. I clear my throat, and I'm like, um, actually, it's pronounced Viren, but I appreciate, um... Well, you're talking the, um, actually. Um, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but that is not my name. Guys, I'll be right back. I do apologize. I'm just being called downstairs to help with something. I'll be back in literally, literally a minute. It's just a matter of plugging in an HDMI, HDMI cable or something like that. Yeah, no, oh, right. dear God, Tom. Um, oh, problem. No problem. I'm so, gonna just start a bar fight. 
I'm gonna grab. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab some food real quick, IRL, just because I'm starving. I uh, guess this is a break time then. I'm gonna go so, to the bathroom. can I draw my greatsword and chop the armor set off and then wear shut him? Up, up, no. <laughs> I, I would like to point out uh, that is a probably doable with idea. our party, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't chance it. Trying. To. Well, you gotta give me like three gold to even consider doing that, my guy. No, you gotta give me all your gold. Even. <laughs> no, man, I'd, I'd be, I'd be doing it myself. You just, just gotta. No, 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 no. I don't. You, guys, you, guys, guys. Solo okay. play is not viable. Level one. Before we like slap this set of armor up, okay? <laughs> Let's go upstairs and talk to the lady we're supposed to be talking to. Then on our way back down. We'll jump the... Kick some armor ass. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna repeat jump what we just did that lieutenant. Can we not jump anybody? <laughs> yeah, we oh, could yeah, just... I forgot you guys, I forgot you guys Wait, murdered a cause... lieutenant. <laughs> well, one of us murdered it. We've yet to choose who. Oh, probably me. Fucking, I know. am... I am prone to violence. I probably did something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I really, I really hope it is you, Valen. Because, like... I really hope it is you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was probably me. Do Probably's we know how Paso later is? What, were you drunk as shit last night or something? I'm kidding. <laughs> Actually, we were on the way to the tavern when it happened. Oh, I didn't know. Shut it up. Was, it was after a hard day's work in the forge. And <laughs> just Everyone finished making be... someone's new sword or something, right? Nice. And we meet up with some friends. We're like going to the, the tavern. And this guard is harassing some people. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this guy. So I chop his head off. <laughs> it's uh, it's canon now. Maybe not exactly like that, but something like that. Yeah, you started with his feet. Yeah, I started. I I I used my mace first, and I I beat him until he was unconscious, and then I hung him upside down from the street lamp, and I slowly pe uh, peeled his skin off with my greatsword. <laughs> Sorry about that, boys. I'm back. Please, everyone gather around the table so Tom's like, where'd they all go? What? Oh, Tom's not back yet? No. No, I think someone else just left too. <laughs> so, but I was explaining to them how I skinned a guard alive the other night. What? With my great sword. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how the guard died. The the secret, I, I skinned him alive. I got pissed off at him. I was like, you know what? So I knocked him out with my mace, and then I skinned him alive with a greatsword. Seems kind of hard, but it's not I as hard as you think. I have a hard time believing that, but okay. <laughs> just just a little. Like chaotic evil or something? Uh, chaotic good. Since he was <laughs> messing up some some refugees, I was like, well, the good nah, thing would be to stop him. people is kind of a chaotic thing. Oh, it is chaotic, but it's also, I was doing it for the greater good as well, to help these refugees. So it's chaotic good. The greater good. <laughs> exactly. Hey, he's back. I'm glad to walk back. It's so sweet as a DM to walk back and see like your, your players discussing characters and role playing. It's like, oh, it's like yep. you don't even need me. They were talking <laughs> about getting a guard alive. So that's how it. That's, that's how it went down play. the other night. <laughs> that is. That's how it went down the other night. It's, the guard was harassing those those guys, and I was like, fuck this guy. So I knocked him out with my mace. And I, I skinned him alive with with my greatsword. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. Cool story, and then bro. I wore his I wore his entrails as a suit that night. Can we not make this more and more difficult to frame <laughs> on someone? Okay. Are uh, you guys openly discussing last night's murder in, in this shady pub while the no, server no, no, standing? No, no. <laughs> <you're> like, <laughs> so like, what do you guys guys want to eat? <laughs> like, we're all joking around. <laughs> okay. Oh no, this is a joke. It's a joke. The, the waitress is sitting there like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Did it? Maybe. Just a joke among friends. I assume you know. we are not actually talking about skinning people alive. <laughs> no, it's probably be an out, out of character type deal. Mm -hmm. We still don't uh, know what exactly happened. Okay. Well, I, I'm figuring I took the final blow. I murdered the guy. <laughs> Prone to action. I thought, I thought he fell over and sliced himself on his own sword i maybe you know. i pushed him you don't know okay. yeah, yeah that sounds good <laughs> um you tape your sword to your wrist kids <laughs> uh, something something edward elric um all right uh let's go upstairs then 
All yeah. right, they. Yeah, for sure. Everyone is here, right? Everyone yeah. here. All right, so one oh. by one here, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and bring us upstairs. Uh, We're all piling on the stairs, <laughs> <laughs> except for the orc. It's like a, a Scooby <laughs> stack. <laughs> oh, there's more people up here. Yes, oh, there is. Uh, I'll describe from the scene that you guys oh, got in, into. Um, lit lanterns hang from the rafters in this windowless room. Rag covers uh, rags cover the wooden floor and help dampen the noise from drunken patrons gathered around two tables, eating and playing games of uh, what some of you recognize as Baldur's Bones, a gambling game. One of the individuals seated at a table um, is a drunk-looking shipwright who is already a few mugs in, and he's, he's, he's half unconscious at this point. Uh, another one is a uh, Scarface burglar flipping a coin. She's a halfling sitting, sitting right over yonder. Um, another one is a uh, looks like an improvish playwright of some sort who is busy scribbling in his uh, uh, in his book, perhaps some private thoughts. I'm talking about this guy over yonder. Uh, another one is is a half orc, a fellow half orc you recognize, um, uh, who is let's say like a jovial, strong jawed, bellowing laugh now and then as he kind of slams the dice on the table and then he cheers. And every time he loses, he just bellows out in anger. Um, another one is a tiefling. And for those of you who don't know what tieflings look like, this is her. Um, Ooh, wow. Ooh. Anybody, oh, okay, God, no. bro, anybody of you who have any religious uh, prof proficiency, or really anybody who wants to rule religion, she is wearing a rather interesting garb that is not fitting the, the, the average person. Uh, this gregarious, gregarious lady is sitting at the sofa, lounging there, and just watching the game go with a smile, um, occasionally whispering something to herself that's beyond your ear reach. Lastly, and not, uh, lastly is a halfling over here, um, just a snooty apothecary wearing a colorful cape that's uh, trying to keep himself for the most part. And a this woman over here who's wearing like a bluish bandana and 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 leathers, and she's strapping at least four daggers that you can see, and perhaps some that you can't. I think um, we found the person we're looking for. <laughs> uh, Valen's proficient with religion. Does he recognize the garb that uh, you can you certainly rule for it? All right. Uh, give me a sec. Religion. 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 So, Rough. while you are proficient in religion, and you do know that this indeed is some sort of vestments, you cannot quite pinpoint which god she does worship to, but you do uh, notice the obvious that it is some deity uh, um, who has to do something with the stars, perhaps fate. You, you, the, the name is in the back of your mind, but you just can't seem to grasp it. Not really your realm as an Elturel guard to know this religion you were never one for uh that uh school of of faith um i mean i think i have a good guess about what it might be um as cold out of out, of out of character you may guess but like your character does not know okay that's fine i can role play that uh everybody one of viren is not even sure what's up uh merc uh you know that she's not a monk clearly uh, <laughs> not a monk. Oh, and her, from your best guess, perhaps divination has something to do with it. Perhaps fate, divination, you know, the stars. But again, the god, the deity. There's so many of them, especially here in Baldur's Gates, where where religion is free to be practiced by all. You're not too sure to which one. None of you are really. Now going forward, guys. Um, for in terms of skill checks, only up to two players can uh, roll. Or oh, one oh. objective, because otherwise it becomes just a game of like, well, who can rule the natural twenty first? Uh, that's that's not really what the game is about. You, two people ruling for the same thing, that's called a help action. That's ruling with advantage. Beyond that, you can't get double, triple, quadruple advantage. You just roll twice, you get two chances. Oh, if yeah. you don't get it, you don't get it. You know. Sounds good. If it's vital to the plot, you'll get it eventually. If it's not vital to the plot, it's just exhilarate. You'll, perhaps you can get it through conversation. 
Can I, I use investigation on her to see if I can find out? Uh, no. Religion is what kind of religion investigation is more along the lines of like investigating a room, uh, a scene. Uh, okay. Perhaps if you find found you know clothes off, that's still a religion check. Actually, now I think about it. I would say that for the sake of role play, you guys you guys puzzle over this interesting figure in the corner, but not quite sure to whom she bears um, worship. Can okay. Balin just walk over and talk to her, or do you guys want to do something first? Fuck it, I'll talk to her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was... Thirsty much? We're talking about this lady over here. No, I need to get closer. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, you... Being a member of the guild there, you recognize uh, this woman. You've seen her before. It, not, She's not one of the people who usually goes on an assassination contract. She's not one of the high-profile people. More like one of the smugglers, just one of the spies. Um, all these people seem like your usual crowd, but you can absolutely tell that indeed you have seen this woman somewhere before. This just might be Tarina over here. Approaching Seems over, like it. you're looking over her shoulder for 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 quite some time, and she like stopped playing her game of Baldur's Bones and turns to you and she's like, "Yeah, can I help you? Mm -hmm. Take a take a take a take a snapshot in your mind and 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 leave. It's kind of creepy standing over my shoulder. What what do you want? I was just admiring those daggers you got. Can, can I take a look at one of them? No, they're mine. Thanks. You can witness them from a distance. <laughs> distance." No, Kills fuck it. off. <laughs> Get well then. If she didn't know any better, she would think this was a threat because you're like, oh, those are nice daggers over there. Can I see one? <laughs> like, just can, I, mm. can, I, can I disarm you and, and then stab you with your own daggers? May I murder you with your own weapon? <laughs> kind of, right? <laughs> Arrow, are you going over you to talk to the... Arrow, are you going, over going to the, to the tiefling or no? Well, I mean, I am. <clears throat> I'm sitting down right here. Fate. I'm going to ask her if she's <clears throat> the person we're looking for. I don't remember her name. I'm bad with names. But that really all depends Adrena. on who it is that you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Snappy. I walk up. Uh, all I say is, "Are you the person I'm looking for?" I don't give any names. I don't ask any specific questions. Mm. I'm like, "Are you the person?" That's rather forward of you, isn't it? <laughs> Listen, take me out to dinner first. Hi, something. Alrighty. Um, you hand her a chicken pie from the tavern. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> so the fish things that the dude was serving downstairs. I, I pull dude, like an old dude. I coronavirus. Pull, social space, I, I man. Pull, <laughs> you're like you're like in her face. Like, <laughs> like. I I pull oh, an old piece hi. of meat. I pull an okay. old piece of meat out of my pocket. I'm like, here, you wanna you wanna have some food? Um. <laughs> I don't think this is six feet. Dog. Guys, back up. That's not six feet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So um, how how Mork just kind of like go. sat down beside the the the, the halfling. So like you look over and like, the halfling is literally sitting as far away from Mork, trying to like just <laughs> huddle against the wall, just be like please don't hurt me. This is really <laughs> tall guy. <laughs> it's serene looking. It's just a huge dude just comes and sits down next to you and you're like uh. yeah <laughs> oh God, what he's like three um, times your size yeah I'm like, my character is a seven foot dragon <laughs> yeah pretty, well plus you're bearing the guard so yeah you know it's everyone's probably in, scared in, of you in western in western movies when a stranger walks into a saloon and just Go dead quiet for a moment there, and then somebody like spits on the floor, and just everybody's giving you the stick yeah, like a It's like that. Cowboy walks in. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that. Like it's kind of like nobody is drawing blades, but everybody hates that you're here. Yeah. And it's like yeah, like like this lady. Cowboy here, walks in. Yeah, and everyone just kind of gives them the eye, and they like go about their business. That's what yeah. they're doing to this lady here. There. Just keeps on flipping her coin, just keep giving you that stink eye, and and and. You know, now and then she, she yeah. seems to be chewing on something, maybe a piece of tar or something. And I'm a seven, yeah. eight, two hundred and sixty pound dragon. She doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and be diplomatic. I'm, excuse me. I'm gonna talk to the uh, tiefling lady and. Uh, hi there. I guess. Uh, hi. I, I don't recognize your garb. Are you a priest? 
yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an alkali. I've been practicing all my life. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the first time somebody asked me this in like last five minutes. <laughs> Everybody's so curious. Yeah, uh, she's Val speaking as well. Valen's gonna hold, he's got like a necklace with the symbol of Elmator on it, and uh, he's just gonna hold it out. Oh, um, shiny. I, well, I was. Uh, Did someone say shiny? Her shiny. <laughs> 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 Uh, it's so pretty. Oh my god, and your hair. Oh my god. How do you get it like that? It's so... Oh my god. Look at that. It's so... It's, so, it's like gold. Angel. It's like just... Yeah, I, I know. She knows. She, she she doesn't know what he is, but she can certainly tell it, like, you know... He's... Oh, it's just like... <laughs> it's just like that, naturally. <laughs> wow. Alice. You're like, you flip your hair, you're like, how is born like this? <laughs> <laughs> you have, like, no concept of personal space. Does she just start, like, touching my hair or something? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, yeah, she, she's she's not like pulling at it. She's just running two fingers through like one of the light lace rings. She's like, oh, she and wow. she's like, oh, oh, soft, so soft. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, do you uh, do you know everyone here? Or, uh... Yeah, this is this is my crowd. This is my jam. You know, it's just uh, this oh. is just who I hang out with. I'm Rahima, by the way. What's your name? Valen. It's nice to meet you, Rahima. Hi. Uh, let me just. Yeah, Sorry, you're I'm asking. Just I, I, I'm just like I'm all about that. Savras, you know, God of Divination. All praise be. You know, I'm all about that. Oh God, I love I it. Wait. It's it makes for great party tricks. I can. You you want me to tell you a feature? Please. Oh, it's simple. Just extend out your hand, and I'll just read your lines. Uh. Oh yeah. I mean, Valen puts out his gauntlet, but he he doesn't take it off. Oh no no no! I need to see. Can like, you can you read self. it through my gauntlet? <laughs> no no no! I need to look right into your soul. She's just gonna look back up. Do you have to dab him? Hmm? Do you have to touch my skin to do it? No, I won't touch you. I'll just levitate my hand above it, and I'll just do my magic. Oh, trust me, I've been doing this for years. I've been doing this since I was like five. And my mother okay. before me, and my mother before her, and my mother before her, and my mother before her, and she just keeps on going like that. Don't uh, trust her. She's gonna date rape you. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm being serious. What did I say about like the joking about rape? It's yeah. Oh wait, I wasn't here for that. Would you guys? Okay. Moving, moving right along. All right. Yeah. So, no. so yeah. she, 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 she wants you. About she wants you to like uh, guys, expose your skin and just just do her magic if, if you want her to. Can we you. not? Yeah. Can we not joke about sexual violence? Yes. Pain, okay. Please? Sorry, I okay. didn't know. Thanks. I'm not mad at anyone. It's just that's like we should have probably talked about that in session zero. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Valen takes off his gauntlet and he holds out his hand, but doesn't like try to touch her skin or let her touch his skin. Okay, do me a perception check. Perceiving. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Perception. Twenty. With a natural twenty, you. Unnatural. I'm sorry. Well, not natural. Yeah, sorry. I saw twenty. I. So yeah. with a natural twenty, because you're sitting right there. You can't help but but feel everybody kind of like snickering at you as as this is happening, especially this guy who's kind of like intoxicated. He's just going just they're like <laughs> to himself the entire time, and you were kind of ignoring him at first, but now it's kind of getting start to get annoying. And this guy smirked himself silently anywhere, and as she's going about like you know trying to draw her your attention back onto her, and she's uh, levitating her hand, you feel something missing from the side of your body where your money pouch was like it's getting slowly getting oh. lighter. <laughs> Valen, um okay valen kind of puts up his hand and sort of gently grabs hers and oh. uh and then he with his sorry no she just goes oh uh is she holding anything in the hand no okay he's gonna check his money but pouch. as soon as you, as soon as you grab your her hand you feel your pouch kind of like uh, like its full weight go back and, uh, onto your body as if it was levitating and now just falling gravity again. Is there something you're not telling me? I don't know. Well, maybe you just don't want the. Maybe, 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 maybe you just don't want your secrets to be. That's fine. You know what? It, don't worry about it. It's it's um, you know, it's not for everybody. Uh, you know, it's uh, no no harm done. Well, pray, pray Sabras, yay. Uh. Valen's gonna kind of lean in and whisper so that people can't um, hear sure. him throughout the room. Well, how about in exchange for since you tried to steal my money, why don't you tell me about oh what was her name? And he, he points to the lady with the blue bandana. Um, the so, lady, sorry, the lady with the blue bandana. Uh, sorry, let me, let me go just, ahead. 
Yeah. Let me just look at my notes. Um, uh, what did Zodge tell us to do? He told us to ask her about the dead three. Um, oh yeah, Tyre Ty Tyrena, right? Tyrena. Nah. Um, that's Tyrena, right? Does she know anything about the, the dead three? We, uh, and he's gonna pull out the, the flaming fist badge. Um, we've been sent by Captain Zodge. So as soon as you guys, you pull out your badge, I'm gonna do something here real quick. Are you being stealthy about this? Uh, I mentioned he was whispering, yes. So roll me a stealth check as you're pulling out, you're discreetly pulling out your badge and showing it to her. He's gonna critically fail and have is to this, scream it. Is this for disadvantage <laughs> because I'm wearing chainmail? Nope, that's Jordan, sorry. No, it's not a disadvantage, you're just pulling out the uh, the badge. So you beat a 10, cool, that's, that's beating uh, Tarina's passive perception there. So she doesn't quite notice the badge. But, um, uh, Rahima, and so she's like, listen, I don't, I don't want any trouble, and and I'm sorry, you know, you just, you know, here, you, 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 you got me here all shiny and pretty. Can you, can you blame a girl? Come on, I, I don't know anything. If you really want to ask my girl here, go ahead. She'll, she'll probably tell you whatever. You guys are flaming fists. She owes those guys a favor anyway. So, yeah, no hard feelings though. Hail Sabres, yay! Uh, Valen's gonna let go of her hand and put his Please gauntlet Please do, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Valen puts his gauntlet. I'm sorry about that. And he's gonna go over to Tyrena. Roll me and, an Arcana uh, check. Yeah. Yeah. I can scoot over for you. <laughs> we, can, we can share a seat. Don't, don't, then don't worry. With an eight, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, you, you go over to Tyrena. Uh, we, sit on my lap. <laughs> I'm no, we each get one arm of the chair. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here, I, I pat my lap. I'm like, sit on daddy's lap. <laughs> I Tari really hope you do Tarina like character. looks around everybody making themselves at home or and she's like, Did the third end just forget about the deal we had? Like it's just supposed to be a private party. Yeah, I I assume, oh. okay, I really hope Arrow didn't just do that in character. Do what? <laughs> I want to try talking to this one. Sure. Uh, talk about what? So I want to approach her and I want to say, I'm sorry for the intrusion of my group. We are looking for someone by the name of Tarina. Do you want to say that we could find her back here? Um, is there anything that you could tell us about her? Or um, tell us like, who she is, direct, her to, direct us to her presence if you are. So she reaches for the sheath of her blade at her side. Pulls a gun, uh, gun. Pulls out, <laughs> pulls out a a, um, like a like a little a little Chris dagger, and she points it at you. And then she points it at the woman right over there, and then after that, she points the dagger at her teeth and just starts picking them. I kind of just like give a small smile and I say, "Okay, thank you for your time," and I will go. Whatever you say, fancy pants. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a wink at her and then just walk over here. Wow, all right. Wink wong. <laughs> Call me later. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes. Well, I uh, guess Valen's going to talk to Tyrena uh, then. Yeah, well, what is it? A flaming God, Flaming Fist, whatever it's your name. Is it? What is it? The oh, wow. Zodge sent you clearly, but <laughs> what is it you want? Are you, you here to know? Yeah. So we need to know about the Cult of the Dead 3. Apparently they have a presence in this area. Yes, they do. Indeed. Um, let me see here. Yada yada. Apple, move your dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Please. You know what? Do you know what quid for po Huh, I don't know what that means. You know what quid, quid pro quo means? I might. <laughs> Ancient Elvish, you might not know it. Uh, it means you scratch <laughs> my back and I scratch yours. I don't do anything for free unless you gamble it away. Uh, it doesn't seem like you're willing to part with your money. And everybody kind of snicker. So how about you do a little bit of a good deed? You seem like that heroic type. I'm, uh, I've been having a little bit of trouble recently. I have a few friends who uh, don't quite mean me well, so to speak. They are, they are, they are venturing... 
they're making their way, I suspect, as we speak, here. Yeah. Probably to uh, give me a nice scarlet grin, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, you help me get rid of them, and I will give you all the information you want regarding these uh, cult. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yes. Or not. Why he wants to get rid of them. Uh, because if I do not have him dealt with, he will probably put a knife in my back, if not worse. Uh, let's just say that him and I, uh, have come to a disagreement of some sorts. Uh, he's an old pan of mine, goes by the name of, uh, Deadeye. We're not here to kill people for you. Faith pulls out a knife, showing an engraving on her blade. If you're not going to do it for him, do it for the guild. That could work. Roll me, roll me, is a persuasion check. Shit. How do I do that? Fuck. So you open is up it? your sheet, and I'll show you exactly where you click there. Faith. Okay. Sheet. Is it improbable that I take the help action with this? Or... Uh, if you roleplay it, yes. Okay. No, I'd have to think about that. So, um... so over yonder, Faith, is where you will find it on the sheet. Um, it's in your like skills bar. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that thing. And then you click on the name of it. Perception, right? Uh, persuasion. persuasion. You're trying to persuade her to do it for the guild, quote unquote. Yeah. Okay. So she goes, look. Sweetheart, I would love to do it for the guild, as you say, but I don't want to go hungry, and uh, <laughs> gold is not going to make itself. I'm keeping that gold, even though it leads to disagreements, and I need to make sure that I can use it. Long story short, you will help me. It's a small task, I promise. You don't can I even really have to kill him, but let's just say if you don't do it, somebody else will eventually. When, since when right. was it an issue, issue for you? Sorry, go ahead. Alright, so I just... I kind of, like, slam my hands on the table and get, like, straight down to business. Like, who is it? Or where? Like, who is it we're, we're taking care of? And how do you want to do it? Intimidation. No, no, I'm not, no. like, intimidating. No, I'm just, forward. just like, getting straight forward. Just trying to get to the point. Oh, but you slammed your fist on the table. Yeah. It's just an angry boy. My my guy's got a lot of pent up anger from you know his whole family being murdered in front of him. Oh, I like your style. You have a lot of energy to you. Good to you. This guy, uh, he used to be the bowsman of my old captain aboard the ship I was serving. Oh, what was the name of that sweet sweet ship? The Civil Serpent. I served on it faithfully for a few months, but lots of girls gotta eat, and uh, let's just say I took what was not mine. From my fellow pirates and uh, fled before they could stop me. <laughs> Joined the guild, I've been living sweet ever since. But karma caught up to me. So, you know, I heard rumors that a former shipmate of mine uh, has tracked me here to Baldur's Gate. The ship, I confirmed, is uh, docked at the harbor side, and it's only a matter of time before they show up. It's probably gonna be old Deadeye and his crew. You will recognize him for the one cataract eye he has, and the ill matter of his folk. Um, Raylan's gonna... Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Actually, saying? great. Never mind. I was gonna try and convince her to give her the information anyway, but never mind. This is just like a brief to us. Oh, we already... Like, we already did the persuasion? Yeah. Yeah, you did the persuasion for the guild. You may try out the tactic. You know, try maybe sweeten her up with whatever it is that she needs. Um, oh, she, she, like she, 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 do something. The way she's been living here in Lower Stage just doesn't do anything for free. She wants to make it worth her time. Um, you know, sort of thing. If anybody has ideas, go ahead and shoot. Otherwise, um... She could use her help. Uh, did I disconnect or something? Yeah.
Yeah, audio went out for a second, just give it a moment. There we go. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hey. It happens, hey. It happens sometimes. Somebody somebody tripped over the plug over at Discord headquarters. <laughs> they know what we're doing. They're like, no. Okay. Oh. Try that again. Right. And we're back online. Right, so as I was saying, if anybody has any ideas, you can go ahead and shoot. She's just living in a lower city, she wants to make it worth her time. Doesn't really do anything for free, not even for the guild, you know. If anybody could have bullied her to doing whatever just because you're part of a guild, she would have not been where she is now. That being said, if you have any ideas, go ahead. We could give her 10 gold from each of us when we get the pay. I don't like that idea. Why not? You get 200, you walk away with 190. Ah. <laughs> Doesn't she owe us a favor, though? Or was it the us. The guard captain. Um, what do we know about this girl other than the fact that the guard captain sent us to So she's kind of told you about the fact that she used to serve aboard a ship called the Uncivil Serpent. Uh, for, you know, she's been faithful and leash serving on a ship for a few months under a very good captain who she seems to be talking about with quite a, a bit of endearment. Uh, but you know, a girl's gonna eat and she she did what she had to do and she stole a whole bunch of treasure from her fellow pirate mates and fled to the city. And now she is serving as a spy for those who would use her services. But again, she doesn't do anything for free. And now she suspects that, you know, she's being haunted. That's really all she's willing to tell you about. She's kind of secretive about everything else for now. So, she she's robbed this guy. Like, stole a bunch of a money whole crew, from... yeah. She was, she used to and, get part of and her, she yeah. wants, she, they're hunting her down now, and she wants us to go take care of that? Yeah, they're going to be here any minute, right. she suspects. So, how? I, I ask her how she wants us to do this. Like, does she want them dead, or just, like, incapacitated? Things happen around the city, you know? People, people have accidents all the time. Out of character question, are pirates known for being like neutral evil or something like that? Like would, would, we, be, would we be attacking like citizens of the kingdom? Uh, Baldur's Gate is known to like people drop like flies here and there. Fights break out all the time. There's not really moral to killing anybody here uh, if they deserved it. Uh, in terms of pirates, some are good, some are bad, but this sounds this guy sounds pretty terrible. Um, as far as how do we do it? Should, you know, it's you do you. As long as it's not my problem anymore. She doesn't care. Just as long as it's out of her. Life. I'm not saying kill him. I'm just saying killing him is the easiest way. We're back. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Um. So, yeah, Valen. I mean, Valen looks at the rest of the members of the party, uh, and he says, "It seems obvious that while, uh, sorry, what was her name again? DM. Tarina." Tarina. Tarina. Tarina here. <laughs> well, here they go. certainly have cause to be angry. Thank you. Um, ah, there we go. <laughs> um, it seems that these pirates have plenty of reason to be angry with. Um, sorry. Um, to be angry with Tarina. Um, but I don't feel right about doing her dirty work for her. I say we knock them out or scare them off without killing them. And if Tarina wants to deal with the results of her actions afterwards, then that is... Tarina does not want to deal with the results of her actions afterwards. Tarina wants to her problem dealt with and in turn she'll help you out. If though if you're gonna not if you're gonna kick their ass, leave them alive now, but not scared enough so they're gonna come back later on, then that's not good for Tarina. Tarina's so gonna fucking third a... person out though, because we if, all are. Yeah. 
Uh, if we don't want to kill them, we got to find a way to keep them out of the city pretty much permanently. Okay. I'm all for finding a not unviolent solution. Um, what did you steal exactly? That's not important. Man's greatest treasure, gold. Yeah, gold, sounds like money. Riches, <laughs> money. I mean, you know, booty. Nothing. Sure. Oh, In a word, booty. Yeah. I like that guy. Well, uh, that's the word, booty. I like that. What is that? What is it? That's an orc word. I like it. Yes. Has a nice that's ring to it. Too. Booty. Mm, booty. And the ship just got here recently. Well, cool. it didn't just get here, but I, I have my sources. I mean, I am, after all, uh, with the guild, as you guys so openly insisted on pointing out. Yes, I have my sources, and the ship has docked here in the last two, five days, and I gave them plenty of time. And I suspect that it'd be here at any moment, frankly. Um, Could you, you know, not just leave and lay low and run for the rest of my life? What would you do in my position? Well, why don't? I don't know. From what she's saying, they're gonna be here pretty soon. Might as well go downstairs. Why don't we go downstairs and kind of prepare for a fight? Try and keep it bit diplomatic at first, but if things get violent, we need to be ready. All right. We're not going to be your hired killers. We'll you don't have to them kill them. Off. You know what? How about you use those Thank badges God. for a change? Wait. Arrest them. Put them in jail. Put them in stocks. I don't care. As long as they're out of my hair. That's fine by me. We'll arrest them. We have the badges. We can do this. So, okay. Yeah. Um, in the future, I think it would be best if we sort of just accept these kinds of jobs and then talk about how we're actually going to deal with it later, like when they're not around. I don't mind chatting. Oh. I... <laughs> Hmm. Uh, just accept the job and decide between us of how to do it. Fine. Yeah. Well, it, it could depend because if we tell them one thing, and I assume we're talking out of character right now, if we tell them one thing and then do another, then like we we want to manage expectations with whoever this employer or whatnot is. Um, right, but it's not like. But I think in this case, it's a favor yeah, for a it, favor. This is more of like a, a wide. Or like like a wide thing that we can do to get it done. But like if it was like a more specific question, like if she said, "Let's go kill them," then you know we gotta go kill them. But like they, no, she she, she just specified that like if you if you want to, she use she just wants them out of her life. Yeah, which that's a wide question. If you put them in shackles, that's good. That's as good as killing them. It just she's so used to just right. offing people because it's Baldur's Gate, you know. Mm -hmm. If if you yeah. want to have it where we discuss it outside of. Uh, the the employer's earshot in in the future we can do that but for now we've decided on what we're gonna do so yeah. let's go all right so yeah if you want let's... if you guys want to kill some time how about a game of Baldur's bones I could use to some way of filling my pockets why not game um, I think I haven't I think it's best we move on to the job yeah I think we just do the job we should gamble if y'all are all right yeah we can gamble later i like that mentality celebrate later get the done job done all right it was nice seeing you <laughs> valen just doesn't respond yeah uh, <laughs> everyone's like adios i <laughs> gotta go so you, <laughs> go. you going downstairs one by one here and, pop. Uh, and i have yep. a i just sort of get each other oh, and sprint out the door by the way just you know all, there's rooms all about i mean i'm not i'm not encouraging to go where you're not supposed to uh, but uh, just FYI, it, it, just because what you see is not what is, there's also locked doors. I don't know how many of you oh, guys yeah, ever was... played on Roll20. Yeah. yeah. I was looking around earlier. I was like, ooh, there's bedrooms over here. You guys leaving? Um, okay. I'm I... still stuck. <laughs> Where are you? I don't see anything. Uh, oh, there we are. Oh, there you are. Sick boy. There you uh, I have like popped you. into existence. DM. Yes. Rules sure. clarification. So with, with knocking people unconscious, since uh, Valen prefers not to kill people, yes. um, is yes. in do you rule with, like, rules as written, you have to do un, an unarmed strike, and the damage from that has to knock them out, or can if, you do, like... If you can bring a person down to zero health with a sword, and rule play in a way that, oh, I hit them with a pummel, uh, yeah. it, will, it will deal bludgeoning damage instead, and if that brings them to zero health and you claim it's non-lethal damage, then I'm not going to be a stickler for the rules. I'm going to be like, yeah, you knock him unconscious. 
Okay, but if if they like burn to death from like uh, if it's uh, clearly lethal damage, I'm not gonna be like he passes out for the pain and and he's fine. That is very reasonable. He passes out in a fire. I'm not gonna be magically. like okay, he's in the center of explosion. <laughs> he got dealt fire damage, but he's fine. If he got concussed from an explosion like in, off a range and he only got dealt force damage, and there's a possibility that he's not dead, he's not dead. But if it's like uh, I throw him for the th from the third floor, like he's gonna break his neck falling. Yeah. Uh, there, there may also be the possibility that, just addressing this now, that in future I try to like stabilize a dying enemy with uh, use of like lay on hands. Yes, um, I'm not gonna be like. There's absolutely no way you can bring them back if you try to stabilize. If you're actually gonna spend uh, spell slots trying to bring somebody who is revivable, I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay, thank you. I, I'm. That's very reasonable. Thank you. I mean, uh, it's, you, it's you guys role playing. What's the point of me, of me just chugging along with my own story if I'm not giving guys a choice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have anything you want to do, or can I talk to Clank? I think we should wait outside of the, the tavern so that the keep doesn't get mad at us for wrecking his bar if it turns into a fight. I'm going to say something about that, actually. Uh, Wait, what, I have what, what I have a handout just for that that speaks about that, for those of you who know Baldur's Gate. Uh, go ahead and discuss your things. I'm just going to look for it real quick. But, the, okay. yeah. Uh, where's the taverns? It's called Taverns in Baldur's Paul. Gate. Hmm? Or... Uh, Arrow. We're in character. I got Arrow. Uh, uh, hey, hey, <laughs> uh, distract the giant ogre thingy. Go talk to him. Why would we? We don't need to distract him. Why don't yeah, we get them on our side? Yeah. Well, well, I'm not saying this will necessarily be a fight. I'm is. just saying we should be outside just in case it does escalate to okay. a fight. There it is. I found. I don't want to. Uh, since I'm a regular to the tavern, I don't want to like wreck this guy's place. You know. Why would we fight at the tavern? Aren't the people that <laughs> follow? Huh? <laughs> Why would we fight at the tavern? Don't we know that the people who are coming after her are coming from the docks? They're coming here to to, to the yeah. Tavern. She's they're coming. They're coming they, here they, to the they tavern. They know where she is. They're coming for her like now. Do, she, we, yeah. do we like already know that they're like here in the country? They're, they're in yeah. They're, she, we know they're they're, they're in the city. Uh, we know they're coming to this tavern specifically to find, uh, what's her name? Tarina. Tarina. Yeah, Tarina. Uh, they're coming here to get to Tarina, so I propose that we just wait outside, wait for them to arrive. Yeah, we so, don't want to. So, you know. as I shared in the handout over there, I just know the general gist of it. Um, in regards of concern of, like, uh, whether we should cause trouble inside... People are fucking used to fights inside taverns. It happens every single day in one tavern or another. Uh, the bodyguards are mostly there to protect the staff, but they're not. They don't really care about the patients. Everybody defends themselves. If you're gonna go to a tavern, grab a sword. So that's the mentality of Baldur's Gate. While oh, I do, okay. while I do appreciate you guys being all like, you know, valiant about all this, which is fine. You guys can fight outside if you want. He, I'm sure Durden will appreciate it, but. Uh, that the, was my mentality. Was common, the barkeep will per, or appreciate us like in El Trail, Maybe better. the barkeep will appreciate no fights. Clearly in El Trail, but here in Baldur's <laughs> Gate, it's like if you won't do it, somebody else will step will stab somebody else eventually. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. But they said he went with based on accident. So. Better start drinking for this fight. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going with, <laughs> dr drunken master? Yeah, like Mort just grabs another <laughs> another master. one. Great. He's a master uh, of the drunken fist. Yeah. Balin, sorry, Balin talks to Clank. That's all right. Yeah, uh, for sure. Okay, uh, so Valen, mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah, go uh, ahead. So Valen, up to him and say, I have it on good authority that there's um, some men coming here soon. Who? Oh, I see what to, you're doing. They intend to uh, attack and kill several of the patrons, and they're probably going to wreck the place. Um, me and my companions here are going out to attempt to stop them, but I just want to know. Would you be able to throw in with us and help us, seeing as they are probably going to wreck the bar while they're here? If I was bothered by every single second fight that broke out around here, I, I would probably be out of shape by now. I'm only concerned about Durden over there. He's the one who pays me. If anybody hits his face, I'll hit him right back, man. But uh, I'm sorry, you're, you're honest on your own, man. I mean, I mean, you know, it, they have to make it personal, man. And, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't just fight just everybody because you know, if I fight every other fight, that's gonna be a fight every day. Uh, it just goes on. It just goes on like that. I don't suppose. Just keeps I guess, rambling on. 
I don't suppose I could pay you to help us? Mm. I would like to try and talk to Dernan. You can, yeah, you like, can try pay him. You can try and persuade. Yeah, sure. Well, just one time. I'm just trying to resolve one thing here. I understand. Yeah. Uh, you can try and yeah, you can bribe him. Sure. Uh, well, I'll, I mean, I'll just ask like, what is his going rate before? Or do you want me to roll persuasion then? Uh, I guess. I mean, if you're trying to bribe him, you're, it's, it's, yeah. Well, no, I mean, like, employ him, since he's a mercenary. He's not a mercenary. But, okay. He's, he's like, he's almost like a summon of Durden. He was made oh. by Durden, works for Durden, uh, bound to Durden. Yeah, he was... Loyal to Durden, yeah. Made guess, for this job, literally. I guess what is my purpose? You pass a butter, kind of, kind of thing. All Ooh. right. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I like you. I'm gonna make an exception, but you don't go around telling anybody... You just give me the signal, buddy, and and I'll I'll see what I can do. All right? Uh, yeah. Valen like taps his gauntlet against his chainmail. It's a one-time thing. Of course. Um, and give so Valen you know, shuts the door. Yeah, Valen's gonna head out. I mean, like the door is open, I assume, so he's gonna head out. So it'll be well. There's a window actually, so we can give him the, the signal from the window. Yeah, you head out, and like uh, Clank looks over his shoulder, and you see him behind the glass, and he just gives you a little wave. Uh, somebody want to talk to the bartender or Skuna? I don't remember. Somebody called out. Yeah, can, I, can I talk, yeah. can I talk yeah. to this guy? Let's do, uh, let's do Viren first, and then I'll do you, um, yeah? Yeah, so, I would walk up to Durin, and I would say hello again. Um, my companions and I have come, have recently come into information that leads us to believe that there is a group coming here that will cause great harm to the patrons of your tavern and the tavern itself. Now, we are offering to try and defend um, this place from any damages done. If you would like to assist us in any way, either with men that you have hired or if you're capable of flying, it would be appreciated. We're not asking for any money or anything. I feel that it would be in your great interest to also defend this tavern so you don't have to deal with any damages afterwards. All right, so. As he, as you're talking to him, and he, you know, he's doing that thing that power tenders do, where he takes a rag and he cleans one of the glasses. He puts the glass down, and then he reaches behind the counter, like like below him, and he draws out a sheath sword and puts it on the countertop. Um, oh shit! I know this sword. I mean, Valen doesn't. I do. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, but uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. So he 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 puts a sword. I'm just looking for a token here. Uh, cool. Whatever. That works. He puts he puts a sword down on... It's like humongous. It's, it's a big, great sword in front of him. Ooh, and he's like, sword, huh? Listen. I got it covered. Anybody trust to mess with my tavern, they are going to get their ass kicked. I don't care about the patrons. These guys pay. They, are, they know what they're in for. They can defend themselves. But anybody messes with me, they're going to get their head chopped off. Oh, boy. I that's I my sh- man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I come to my tavern approved. and you mess with my tavern. Yeah, yeah, sorry, go ahead. I smile at him approvingly and I'm like, I, fuck, I completely understand. Um, is he capable of fighting with a sword or is he like... Am I capable of raising a sword? <laughs> he takes like one of the stool behind, behind the counter, places it on top of the uh, bar, takes a sword and with one hand, with one full swoop, he cleans it clean in half and the sword just goes... Tunk! Into the tub. Can I handle a sword, boy? And then he draws it away from the bar and puts it on his shoulder. I've been wielding a sword since I was 15 years old. Oh. I've hey, been. Kind of sword I, sort of, I gave like a small clap, like I'm impressed. He's like, like amazing. Yeah. It, so it's, um, it's like a great sword hunter. If you, <laughs> any help that you could offer when um these um these um, scoundrels appear at your tavern would be greatly appreciated. Um, How about you handle yourself? Uh, nobody helped me when I was your age. How old are you anyway? Oh, wait, you're an elf. That's a stupid statement. I'm a human. <laughs> I just realized how old you are. I'm funny. Yeah, so of course... Uh... Wow. Man, Viren, yeah. you you need to figure yeah, yourself out there because that's that was... okay. Your your voice is normal one moment, and then another moment you you just vanish, vanish, just gone. But I think I got the general idea. I, I, I he does appreciate your concern. Kind of finds it cute even. But uh, this guy, whoever he is, has seen some shit. He's been around 
he can defend himself and he needs be um i want a sword like what? living in this city you gotta know how to fight right it was it was more so about um saving him money rather than defending himself you know because if his tavern is destroyed he has I mean, to, he, like, he just got a stool now <laughs> he laughs yeah, yeah. I, he, it's, it's it's your <laughs> kind of it's your kind that pays me bud it's it's the patriarchs who pay me for my restorations you're just one hand and a great sword <laughs> just I one hand yeah all right. chopped a stool in half i don't think he cares about ruining his his tables and stuff <laughs> We, right. they, they like have a budget of to like for like loss a week that they get anyway <laughs> whether or not they have a fight or not they just get a budget every time because the patrons just don't don't want to deal with it so they just send money every time like whatever you go you just replace we know what you are you're a main hub we get it. adventurers come in direct shit up yeah we get it i okay. smile and nod and i say fair enough and i just like i bid him adieu and i leave bid, bid him adieu all right so as Fail. you as you do that the tavern falls silent at some point it does quieten and you hear a voice pierce through the air nobody speaks nobody moves could i use the divine sense again it's you don't don't waste it you it's you can just feel you feel it in your heart feel it on the air this being is present and singing, and it's beautiful. You have never heard such a beautiful tone in your entire lives. And actually, um, uh, Lorian, you, you are, you know, everybody who knows Elvish, you know the lyrics. You can hear the lyrics, rather. I'm posting them. Sang in Elvish. Oh, so I can't read that. You cannot? I can. Yeah. He's, He's... character doesn't speak Elvish. Well, oh, I understand. I it's it's flavor for those of you who know <laughs> Elvish. Those of you who know Elvish can tell your friends. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, Valen would kind of uh, bump, um, yes, uh, sorry, Viren and be like, you know, a after it dies down, it'd be like, what uh, what did she say? I assume he just tells me. So, who are you asking, sorry? Valen? Uh, Vera. Oh, Vera. Yes, that's Bapo, a Bapo, pick a seat. Pick a seat, damn it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, um, they're singing the song about the city that, um, the kingdom that disappeared at El Elturgo. Mm -hmm. Tell me the lyrics, please. What exactly is she saying? <laughs> that was such an anime. <laughs> Nani! <laughs> alright, 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 alright. But, no, I mean, it's I, fine. It's fine, it's fine. I, I assume you just tell me. I've, he's got it all written out. Yeah, um. I would just sort of like tell the lyrics back to him. I can't find any specific verse that seems important. So I would just like to tell him the song. I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just gonna say that while everybody else is enjoying the song, Durden seems perplexed. Something is odd. Good Durden. It's weird. It's not usually how the song goes. You know, usually she sings about her lover, or a, a fisher, fisher's lover in the sea and all that. Beautiful song, mind you, but this is, this is new. This is different. Ah, right, welcome change. Brings in more customers. People are gonna talk. They're gonna flock in. More money from me. So yes, Valen's so gonna. She... Mm -hmm. uh, Valen takes voice a well, one time. in the future. Oh, sing a what song of Elturel like. of water woods and hill. The sun dawns on her ruddy cliffs and fields green and still. This land of long abiding joy, home of the strong and brave. Renowned by all across the realm, and never once a slave. Oh, sing a song of Elturel when foes are at the door, her fields torn by cloven feet from some infer infernal shore. Arise the mighty Hellriders. Now this word in Elvish translates over into common, called the same way, Hellriders. A curious name. Um, and I think the only person here who would know what that means is Valen. Correct? 
Yeah, he knows what the Hell Riders are. Yeah, so you can go ahead and try with your companions. Take up your swift, keen swords, then charge into the hellish fray and scatter the evil devil for hordes. Oh, sing a song of Alturel, and when the night does fall, sleep safe beneath companion's light until the dawn does call. We're bound by mortal covenant, the only end that only ends with death, and so we'll sing of Alturel until our final breath. She's singing about my home and and the oh. men and women who defended it. Hmm. Interesting. Balin's going to get out his shield and quarterstaff and uh, yeah, stand ready. Wait, is Balin from Eltero? Well, I assume you're asking that in character. Yeah, I am. Eltero's my home. It's well, my it's, it's, it's kind of like a pre-battle music. Like, like a... Not, not intentional, but interesting. Yeah. Hang on, Var Varian was talking. Sorry, what was that? Yeah. Nothing, I was just role-playing. I was saying, like, he would just nod his head in response and, like, doesn't ask him. He, he appreciates the gesture. Could I talk uh, to these two guys and try to recruit them to help us to fight? Who? These two guys? Uh... How are you planning to do that? Uh, talk to him and persuade him. Wait, didn't you say some of the people in here were, like, uh, guards? Off-duty guards, thugs, like... Yeah. So, which one's uh, an off, uh, an off-duty guard? I would say like these three over here. These three? Okay. So, could I go talk to them and try to persuade them into like helping us fight, like what we did with uh, this guy? Uh, if you describe to me how you do it, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, role play, I, my dude. Role yeah. play. All right. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna walk over there and say hi. So you walk over there. And you you hear them kind of like already mid conversation, like one like this one over here. He like grumbles to his buddy. He's like, "I'll bet my last copper pieces that those so called refugees are advance scouts for that army that's preparing to attack Baldur's Gate. I bet you my last two coppers that's the case." And one of them is like, oh, "I don't know, man. With Ravenguard out of the way, who will be the next uh, Grand Duke? You wonder, wonder there, you know." My money's on Thelema Van Thamper, practically born in the sewer as she was, and more vicious than a swarm of rats, that one. Uh, and then he kind of stops and looks over his shoulders like, Ah! Oh, hey there. Uh, yes, yes, comrade. Yes, how can we help? Hey guys, um... I have a request to ask. Yes. Um... What are we doing again? What do we need help with? This is oh my god, <laughs> dude! Fighting some ruffians. What do we that, need help that's, for again? That's that's why I make people role play because I'm like roll this advantage if you're not sure. <laughs> no, he, go on. He he walks up to him. He's like, wait, what do I need your help with? Wait a minute. Oh, wait a sec. Hey, hey Paul, what do we need help with again? Hey, uh, I'm outside. I can't talk. <laughs> this guy's oh, already yeah. hammered. Look at them. Ah, uh, rookies. Who's inside? Who's this? I need help. <laughs> Freaking F and G's, man. Uh, Mork. Mork. Uh, what Mork. are we doing again? <laughs> what, what do we need help for again? I'll walk over to help him. Yes, help. <laughs> I'll walk over. I'll say, um, hello, fine gentlemen. Um, what my friend here is trying to say is that we would appreciate it if you can assist us in the upcoming battle. Um, as a what the hell am I a perpetrator? Battle. Where's the fire? <laughs> Yeah, this guy words things nicely. Let him explain it. Mm. Um, as a petri- as a I'm gonna be right back. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Go on. How do I how do I pronounce this word? Patriarch. Uh, patriarch. Yeah, patriarch. Yeah. Patriarch. Was Tom? Was Tom the one who left? Yes. No, I'm here. No. I'm here. No, Tom's here. Tom uh, never leaves so, us. Um, <laughs> I'm here. As yeah. a patriarch. I would be um as a patriarch I um I would be very grateful if you could help us in this upcoming battle to ensure us the safety of not only my companions but this tavern and those in it. As a poor struggling guard, I'll be very thankful if you could make it worth my time with a little bit of uh, and he makes a little gesture of like, you know, rubbing his fingers together. I'm sure you could spare, like, oh, I, I don't know, about 10 silver pieces to each of us. 
Uh, we'll make it worth our time, and so we can we can punch a few faces in. Isn't that right, boys? Ten silver pieces are basically just one gold each, right? Oh, look at you, fancy pants, using your big terms. Oh, I suppose, yes. One gold each, yeah. One gold each? All right, I'll pay for two of them. You look at this one. one. Dealing with with gold like it's pennies. <laughs> Which it is, I guess. I just smile, and I say, all right. So just deduct three gold out of your pocket, and you will have... So I'm just going to mark them here. So, clank. So who's paying them? Uh, I, I'm paying for two. Um... Okay, so I'll deduct one gold. Okay. Nine, eight, seven. Okay. Hey, and, and then this, this, this guy over here, he turns yeah. to, to you, uh, 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 there, um, Bapo. Bapo. Yeah, sorry, I just sound profile, <laughs> so I have to look it up every time. He turns to you, Bapo, and he's like, "You don't, tell, you don't tell Zarge about this. He's not too happy about us. Uh, just us, just taking, risking our lives for no reason. Okay, he cares about us. So I get it, but you know, we we're bo we get bored sometimes. We gotta punch a few faces in. This is our little secret, right?" Uh, yes, this is our little secret. Yeah, right, right. So, uh, who who are we, who, who are we fighting? Who are we beating? I should. Uh, it's not like I really care, but you know, I I gotta know who I'm punching. Um. Well, when we, when you see myself and my um my companions start fighting, um, <laughs> just jump I, right down in. Punch, just punch who you're punching. I can respect that. All right. Punch who we're punching. Yeah. Well, also, my my, my yeah. character's thing is chaotic good. So this would be chaotic good, right? Your your alignment is whatever it is you play. I decide your alignment. Your alignment only matters when you're handling certain items that require you to have an alignment requirement. Uh, it's oh. not so much a guide. It's more like for me to be like, oh, you can't handle the sword because you're not lawful good because so far you did not play lawful good kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know? Don't okay. worry about your alignment. Just play play how you're comfortable. All right. Yeah. I feel comfortable with this. Cool. Cool, cool. So... You guys uh, kill a little bit of time, you walk around, you prepare. Uh, I would say about half an hour passes in it all the time that it takes you guys to do all this stuff. You do pick up on a little bit of rumor. They kind of posted what they were talking about beforehand, mm -hmm. right there in chat. Uh, you can pick information from that or save it in your notes, maybe. But uh, that's yeah. local gossip. After about half an hour, eight motley humans saunter into the tavern. The leader is a brawny man with a cloudy right eye, a cruel sneer, and a pirate swagger. The other are unsavory, rowdy bunch who act as if they own the place. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spawn them in. One moment. Is everybody here for this? Or did somebody step away? Actually? I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm I had here. to. I spilled some food like an idiot and I had to step away. That's fine. <laughs> I'm here. I'm just being quiet. Uh, everybody, step back. Yeah, I haven't heard moment. you talk for a while. <laughs> step, step What's back up? from the from the entrance a moment. Oh, these two, sorry, these, yeah. these two leave. They they finish their drinks. Leave. Uh, step back more. Uh, rogue, our our rogue, step back more. Faith. Thank you. I'm just placing them there. Thank oh. you. Oh, oh, okay. oh, shit. oh, okay. There, there's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Right, so they come in. They're rowdy. They're they're the one of, like some of them take take seats and and laugh and 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 hail the the wenches to bring the mail. She brings the mail and and quickly goes back to the kitchen trying to stay out. She can smell the troubles about. And this guy over here, this 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 guy right here, with his cataract eye and his pirate swagger to him, he looks around, sniffs the air. <laughs> Me boys and I, we're looking for an old friend of ours. Hmm, goes by the name Tarina, so I'm told. Loves to cheat at Baldur's dice. A flag of hail to whoever points in her direction. And you kinda... No, you bought out the old bar. Never mind, nobody stirs. <laughs> like, one of the guards, one of these guys, oh, like, yeah. goes to, like, point a finger towards the stairs, and then, like, his body, like, just puts a hand on his, and he's like, puts it down, and he, like, nods, nods toward... <laughs> Because I mean, okay. who who else is the troublemaker if not this guy? Go ahead, sorry. I'm I'm gonna walk up to this guy and 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 tell him uh, we don't know who she is. Then you're no service to me. Who else? Who wants a flag and a veil? Come on, it's free booze. Just tell me okay. where she is. We know she's here somewhere. So somewhere in the kitchen. I will approach him. Who says? Who said somewhere in the kitchen? Uh, Faith. Uh, Faith did. But um, I will approach. The the guy, I'd be like, look, buddy. Um, 
we can't tell you where she is. You know, like Keep it's a secret. Um, Valen. Okay, Valen's gonna get out the. Well, badge. well, let 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 one one person sorry. role play. You you sorry, all sorry, sorry. you will all get like turns. I'm just trying to resolve one thing at a time here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm talking to him. I kind of like, uh, touch the mace that I have on my hip. I'm like, I can't tell you where she is, but um, you know, if you leave, we won't start any trouble. Uh, you just kind of leave it at that. So it's gonna be that way. And he kind of first of all, he sends two of his boys in the kitchen, uh, just to check. He kind of nods at them, and then he kind of you know signals his boys, and they surround you exclusively. Oh boy, uh, like <laughs> I've gotten myself into a bad situation. I, I was gonna stand up and defend you, but nah, that's all you. <laughs> well, <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> now, I mean, seeing as they're surrounding gonna... me. I will draw my mace and shield. That okay. <clears throat> so I, you I would like to throw my tank card. What is it that Valen wanted to do before this? Uh, he was gonna get out uh, the badge the Flaming Fist gave us and motion for everyone else to do so as well. And uh, he's gonna say, by the authority of the Flaming Fist, we are asking you to leave this bar and never return. You well, heard that, boys. Oh, we should get on our knees and bow before King Midas over there. Listen, Goldilocks, you think that badge means anything to me? And you, you draw your weapons from me. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I serve? I, uh, I serve Captain Morosco Serapin, the baddest of the bunch. And me, they call me Lecker Deadeye Cadarvers. And that is the last name you will learn before you beg for my mercy. And I cut you ear to ear. And you all Pretty. rule initiative. Yay! Right. Oh boy. I wanted, I, I wanted to draw my, my, my great sword. Uh, yes, please. I'll take that. Nat 20 16. initiative. Alright. <laughs> Everybody knows the rule initiative? Yeah, 21. yeah. I don't know, I don't know. You select oh, your keep... you select your token first, and then you click roll initiative. That oh, way, it's that know. way it sends it to the oh. initiative roller. I did not know that. I I'm gonna do something game. real quick here. I'm gonna make an initiative macro for all y'all because this is not in this game for some reason. Because I didn't set that up. Not. Also, oh, come on. <laughs> question to you guys: yeah, this, this is going wonderfully. I'm having lots of fun. Anybody needs a break? No. I... I've been stepping out constantly, so I'm good. Okay, I'm actually. We, I might need a water yeah, break. But yeah, yeah, me too. I need a. I've been doing voices and my I, I, my throat is dry. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, nature that. calls and and I need to get some water. So how about this? We all run initiative. I'll do the macro and we'll just resume in five minutes. This is going wonderful. This is awesome pace. How long do we want to keep this going? It's going good. I say we can go. For I don't like care. More hours. <laughs> okay. I yeah. I I'm good with going past dinner. I have food. Yeah, I'm. I'm. We could button down and what time is it? While uh, it's five thirty. I will have to step away for like 10, 15 minutes for dinner, but that's it. Okay, no, okay. Talk. Sometime later, though. Yeah, that's. So just a fun fact, I've got pasted on Discord. I'm gonna make the macro. You guys don't have to worry about it. But if you type um, this, if into Discord chat, it will mm -hmm. rule initiative and send it to my tracker at the same time. I'm gonna make this macro for you guys, but. Uh, you know, just from fact. It, it should be on your core tab of your character sheet, right by your armor class, just above your HP. It says initiative. Yeah, oh, I suppose thing. that that just works, right? Yeah, it works. It does. But uh, okay, yeah, so here's a rule: for those of you who rule the same initiative, you're gonna contest each other with dexterity, because there's no. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna do. Uh, People going in the same turn. Yeah. yeah. So Viren, Viren, and Arrow. You're you're gonna contest each other with except to see who can act first. All right, so we're gonna pick this up in five minutes, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go get some water. I'm just all right. Know. All right, all right. So wait, what does he mean by contest each other? Are we uh, like? Yeah, you would just probably roll your decks. Whoever gets the highest. Roll. Oh, okay. Roll dexterity and then. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Something like that here. Yeah. That seems about right. I'll be I right guess back. so. You know, for having such a large party size, things have gone pretty smoothly. So far. Wow. 
<laughs> it just chimes in. Yeah, I I mean I've had I've had uh five player games that felt like everyone was talking constantly and that was not a pleasant experience. Um Yeah. I was expecting to do less talking because paladins have a lot of charisma, right? Well, yeah. No, uh, I was I was expecting you guys to do like most of the talking in the group. <laughs> I mean, I I've been talking a lot, not as much as I usually do, but I've been talking a lot. Has it been? Would you guys prefer I shut up a bit, give you guys some time to speak, or what's up? Oh no, not at all. You do I was you think like when it comes to things like persuasion, like trying to get guards to help us with fighting someone, or the or the tab owner. Okay, I'm back. Oh yeah, I mean, well, there's there's multiple people in the bar, right? And everyone's kind of talking to one guy, so it it makes sense. What did I miss? I kind of uh, just hiding in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so like, can we not just like slaughter these guys, please? <laughs> Oh, that's why I drew my mace instead of my great sword. Hey, I'm gonna use my fist, but they do damage. This man, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> this man... Sorry, I'm not proficient in unarmed, so I'm like, ah, mace might be a little bit better. This man is a monk. He can beat the shit out of people. <laughs> oh. But if I do use a mace, I I won't necessarily kill everyone, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumb oh. question. Dome with it. How fast is 30 speed? Uh, Normal. Mm -hmm. uh, that's yeah. Normal. Okay. So you're you're moving I was on the low end. All right. So I heard a question to answer. Like, okay. See the map. See this measurement through. This is 30 mm -hmm. feet across. This is how much. This is how much you can move that's... total in a turn. Now, you don't have to move in a straight line, but you must move a total of 30 feet. So you can move this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, and then jump on the table okay. and do the Macarena. As long as 30 feet of movement <laughs> between your attacks, that's your speed. Some characters have more speed than the others. Uh, for example, the rock that uh, Hunter over there has fought yesterday had 120 flight speed. So it can catch up to you if you're running on foot, but if you have matching flight speed, then it won't catch up to you. Uh, anyways. Uh, anybody, let's see here. So, Bapo, roll me a just pure, pure dex. Just click on dexterity and make a roll there. Oh, so, wait, we, um, we already made the start dexterity rolls. What? One of us did. I know, I I'm, did. I'm, okay, the reason why I'm doing this is because... He's asking for Bapo and all to, that. To break, to break ties. So... Oh, okay, sorry. So... So, because because this guy over here ruled the, okay, I can't I can't ping him. This guy over here has ruled the same initiative as you. So what I'm, I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have him rule dexterity. There's and if so you many. if you beat a twenty, then you're faster than him. And if, and if not, he's faster than you. Do you know how to do that? You good? Hello. Is he there? Who me? No. Oh. <laughs> I think he may have left. Oh. It, yeah, it appears he's not in them. No, he's right there. Oh, yeah, but he said he'd be right back. It's fine. I'll do it for him. I'm on it. And it's oh, rolled. Wow. Badly. He rolled natural 20. Look at him. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> ah, mine's still higher, though. Yeah. Nice. If only he rolled a natural 20 on initiative, it would have been first in turn. But, okay, cool. Uh, anybody else oh. has ties? Eight, eight, eight. Bannon's having ties, that's fine, they're on the same side, I don't care about that. Clank. Okay, Clank has to rule his dexterity. <laughs> wow, look at your fucking guys. Rolling natural 20s throughout. They're ready. So Clank is gonna be on top of that order. Alright, guys, I'm back. Uh, Viren and Arrowwind, you two rule dexterity against each other. I or, or decide which one is faster if you're on the same team, I don't care. Uh, Arrow, you rolled a five. Uh, yeah. Byron? Yeah. We are rolled dexterity checks, but if I want to go after him, can I just say that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't... Okay, yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to force you to. <laughs> like, yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, no, I'm good with going first. 
So that's the initiative rule as it stands now. Awesome, awesome. Uh, the sooner sooner I get to hit someone with my mace, the better. The sooner I get to hit <laughs> someone with the mace, the better title of my life. Um, uh, YouTube. YouTube. Uh, Is the barkeeper going to fight? No. Durden is going to keep himself, because if he fights, then it's not really balanced. Uh, frankly, to those of you who know who Durden is, he was, he's gonna he's gonna keep his own. He's mostly there so you guys don't attack him. Oh, I mean, but, well, they're not attacking him. He doesn't no. have a reason to fight. No, they have an issue with you guys. You guys are the ones drawing maces and 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 being in the way of them <laughs> fighting Tarina. Uh, that being said, uh, Mork, uh, it's your Tom? turn. Yes. Uh, yeah. Trying to add darts to my sheet. Okay. Uh, let me help you out here. It's not letting you. Like it's not doing the compendium. I'm, I'm gonna try one more time. It's dark. It's, it's singular, right? Yes. Okay, and you can't do it. Uh, no. Okay. Well, you know how to add a weapon, though, right? Um. Yeah. All right. So okay. it's ju it's just a one d four piercing damage weapon that is finesse, range, and thrown. Uh, range of 20 and, and disadvantageous at 60. Okay, so, and it's so, 1d4 you said? 1d4 piercing, yes. Okay. Plus Here. dex? Uh, I'll send to you. So, you can just add to your sheet. And how many of those do you get? Just a one? I got 10. Sweet. I don't know why it doesn't work. It should work, but I don't know why. But yeah. Okay. Cool. Swords are drawn, and and you're still sipping on your on your ale. You put a cup yep. down. What do you do? Okay, question. Yes. With melee, can you can I, can you attack with your action and attack with your bonus action with your fist, or do you have to have it as a weapon in your hand? Uh, are you talking about fury of blows? I don't have that. Just like normal. Oh, you don't have that yet. When do you get that? And anyways, I don't know. So attacking is an action because it's an attack action, right? Yes. Do you have? I'm looking at your sheet right now. You don't have don't bonus action attacks. Like you don't you don't have that feat or anything. I don't see it. So. Okay. Uh, martial arts. Like you're level one, martial arts. Um, no, I just meant can I use my bonus action to attack? Martial arts lets you attack as a bonus action. Yeah. When you use your attack, oh, right, when you is. use the action attack with an arm, arm strike. Or a monk weapon on your turn, you can hold on. I was reading that. Oh, sorry, Tom. It's okay. <laughs> I'm new. I've never played with a monk before. Uh, when you use your action to attack with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon on your turn, you can make one unarmed strike as a bonus action. There you go. Cool. I'm gonna whack this guy. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> Ping him again. I missed that. Sorry. This guy. This guy. Okay. How do you ping like that? Uh, you hold, hold down left click. Oh, okay, I see. That's cool. I want to change my color. I'm assuming that doesn't hit, yeah? Uh, okay, so you you go to bonk him, uh, and you hit him square in the back, uh, disturbing him. But it, no, you, it, your fist doesn't penetrate his leather armor. All right, bonus action. Okay. Bonk two. <laughs> That's a dead twenty. Holy shit! You you correct you correct your fist positioning. You find a pressure point and you hit him straight in that pressure point. Oh. Roll for damage. How much damage we do? Uh, we're just gonna go with what, what uh, we're gonna go with uh, max uh, first die and then whatever else you roll in the second die. Right. So it's because you rolled. Uh, it's uh, what what is that? What did it's you a, roll? It's a it's a one d four plus three dex. So how come you rolled a five with a one d four? Wait, oh, it's five. five isn't in oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so I I see. So it's, it's seven plus three, ten. Is it? It's ma it's max of the first die, plus okay. the bonuses, plus the second roll. Right. The roll it again, or is it just ten damage? No, it's ten damage. Cool. It's okay. I'll cut. I'll cut it. Uh, yeah. So you do that, and you manage to hit a nerve. Uh. To the point where he buckles down uh, on his knees. He's alive, but
but he has he's like wheezing. <laughs> like you you've hit him hard. Nice. Uh who's next here? Bapo. Alright, um, could I draw my great sword? <laughs> Grab that guy's great sword. <laughs> Alright, so when it comes to drawing weapons and stocking weapons, it's very situational. It doesn't in this, in this case it will not take away your action to draw it. Okay. Oh. Well, yeah. There's like part of an action, I, I, right? I know, I know, raw. I don't like it. I'm gonna change this oh. DM. I because okay. I, otherwise people lose turns just drawing their weapons, and it's, it just feels bad, man. I'm if I'm you're power game if last you're time if you're switching weapons in combat, I do that. I'd be like, you drop your weapon, you draw another one that takes some form of action. If okay. you're I, if you're arming a ballista, it's gonna take you an action, you know. I, right. I assume unequipping and equipping a shield is a, still a full action, right? Uh, yes. See how that's situational? We'll worry about yeah. it when it comes. Drawing okay, dra yeah. drawing a sword and charging forward does not require any any action on your part. You have your sword in your hand. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then could I move, um, there, to that spot? So, depends how you move. In a straight line, just moving this way, that'll be 10 feet of movement. And you okay. can absolutely do that, yes. Alright. Cool. So, I want to do that. So move. <laughs> yeah. Well, wait a minute. It's own pace. Yep. Now I would like to point something out. Not yes. to meta, but even in real life, when you're placing yourself in the midst of a whole bunch of enemies, one, two, three, you're getting flanked. You're, of course, your concentration to try and turn around and block all those hits. They will have advantage on those attacks, and you have in turn advantage on this guy because you're flanking him. Okay, we're doing flanking rules. Okay. Yes. Okay. I love that. I love flanking rules. It makes people strategize. So while you're surrounded by enemies, you're kind of put yourself in a shitty position. But he, he's also being uh, the guy right here is also being. Uh, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. While you're putting Paul's yourself in a disadvantage. What? Because Paul's right here, so he's also getting the, the the flank on him. Yeah, he was. He's saying that. Yeah. Well, this guy's not like who you're playing around right is not flanking anybody. He's being flanked because he has from here and from here. It has to be across. Okay. It has okay. to be across, across, or across. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, so you move over there, you charge forward with your sword drawn, and do what? Uh, attack this guy. Slap him. Alright, go ahead and roll Slap me and, him. and attack. <laughs> uh, okay, gotta pull up my character sheet. Yeah, that's step one. Uh, <laughs> attack, um, hit dice? Uh, over Yo. in attack and spell casting, middle wind there, it looks like this, I'll, I'll post it on the general server so you can see it. Uh, You'll that, click on the weapon you're using. Yeah, so go ahead and click on one of these, and you will attack with that weapon. Okay. You don't have any spells? No, because you're a fighter, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, so you rolled a 9 there, that's the first number yeah. there. Um, that is... Do I have to explain how combat works, because you've never played D&D? I, I can't. He knows a little bit, but not. Okay, so right now you're much. hitting against what's called his armor class. It's a combination of his dexterity with what he's wearing. You rolled a nine versus his, which is I won't tell you just because meta. Um, but I'm opening his sheet right now, and I can tell you that he was wearing stud leather armor. Whether he dodges it or it just doesn't doesn't last right through the armor on his hit, um, doesn't quite hit. So it wasn't strong enough. It wasn't. It wasn't accurate enough, strong enough, fast enough. Whatever the okay. case, uh, just for this try, you know. Um, do you, you're a fighter level one? I'm gonna open your kit real quick here to look. Take a look at it. You don't have anything. Uh, you just have grip weapon fighting. Okay. Do do keep in mind of your features. They're very very useful. Also, you have your breath weapon as a dragon. Yeah, your breath weapon. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. As long as you know those, because I don't, I don't want to have to track every character. Yeah, yeah, I, I knew how to do that. I knew how to do that. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So this guy over here is going to step over yonder. And he... Uh, he They're is, going for me. <laughs> he's going to go ahead and draw his scimitar, and he's going to try and hit you with its arrow. That's a nine hit. Uh, nine does not hit. Missing. You managed to block it with, uh... Yes. Okay. Uh, that is his turn. Dude, this music's fire. <laughs> <laughs> this guy over yonder turns forward, he's like, Alright. 
Time to kick ass and kick ass. Uh, so he's gonna go ahead and... <laughs> 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 uh, he gets to attack twice. So he's gonna draw a mace, and he's gonna just blackjack this guy from the back. Uh, hitting Bonk. for 14 Bonk. and a natural one. Uh, yikes. So, versus the bandit. So, the, he swings, the bandit catches his, his arm, and he just kind of like throws the mace from one, one hand to the other, and it just bops him on the head for 8 damage. Oh, more 8 damage. Yikes. Um, I don't see the rolls. You... Uh, do you guys want to see the rolls? Typically, you don't see the damn rolls. They look, uh, like they, they, they look like this for me, like on my end. They're. I. But for the, sake, like of, for, for the sake of measurements, I don't usually show my rolls. Especially when you're. I, that's fine. I was just wondering if, like. If you guys you know, want me to show the rolls, let me know. I, I would just have to make that an option. I. Uh, I don't care. I'd like it if you made mind. the rolls visible just because it's another thing that we can see. Um, but it's up to. Yeah. Okay, everyone. that'll be something I'll need to do at the end of the session because it's a whole big change to the campaign. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. I'm, I have to change it for every single NPC ever. That's fine. Uh, Valandress. Alright, um, so Valen, yeah, Valen has 15 strength, so he should just be able to, like, I think he should just be able to jump up on the table without issue, right? Yeah, it's, it that. doesn't cost you extra movement to jump up on the table. Okay, yeah, so Valen jumps on the table. And he's going to try and do a, a shove attack um, on this guy and push him there um, so that he's no longer flanking this guy. Contest, and, um, contest with athletics. Yeah. Is there... So, well, Valen wants to, like... He's going to jump and shove and, like, use his body weight as, like, part of it. Um, would that help or change the outcome, I guess? Sorry, what do you want to do? I, I missed that. I'm sorry. Valen basically is going to jump off the table and use his body weight coming down with gravity to, like, shove this guy and knock him off rule with a, Rule with advantage to try and beat a 10. Okay. And so that's athletics and athletics. Okay. Sweet. Uh, I'm Sorry, I'm just changing that. You told me to show the roll, so I'm just making that as an option right now. Uh, oh, no you, don't, you don't need... Sorry, you don't need to worry about it. Oh, cool. Look at that. It's a one-time change. Huh. That's super Sweet. comfortable. Thank you. Okay. I'm just gonna test. So, say he goes for a swing. You guys will see that, yeah? Awesome. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Leckard. Leckard. Uh, do you want me to describe the attack, or should you? You. I love, okay. it, when I love it when players discover their attacks. I don't want to discuss with everybody. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Balin spins his quarterstaff, leaping up on the table, and as he leaps down at this thug and plants his boots on him, knocking him backwards, uh, Valen shouts, Clank, how's the time? <laughs> and, uh, that's you know my who... action and my movement. I'm sorry? Do you, know, do you know what Clank reminds me of? Pathfinder what? from Apex. <laughs> I, I was thinking more, Fun! I was thinking, like, I was thinking same as from, This uh, is my favorite part. Mario like, games. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. my turn. So that's not, it's not your full movement, mind you. You can still move, but you there's a attack opportunity in play. Uh, you can still you can still move between attacks. So you can move, attack, move, uh, if you I'm so out. wish. Yeah. I that was my action to shove. So I'm out of stuff I can do basically. Okay. Uh, you don't right. have anything that you can do for a bonus action or don't want to. That's fine. Not till second level. Sure. Faith. I don't know what the hell I'm wanting to do. <laughs> Do well, what you do best. Oh. You just start throwing knives around or something. Just <laughs> bonk somebody. Use that. Use that six-inch blade. That doesn't lose reception. Fucking laser sights. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. That's fine. I'm thinking. Everybody, think about your turns while he's thinking too. I'm just gonna whack some. How do I use that? I don't know what I'm thing? doing. Like, hmm? like uh, the movement thing. How do I use that one? Uh, so that will be your measurement tools. It looks like a little ruler rub is right, right here. That's what it looks uh, like. Just under the magnifying glass, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. I see it. And if you want it's to like round. fragment it so it's not a straight line, press Q, and you will have like points set up. Ooh. Yes. 
You can do Damn the exact same. It, Tom, I love this. You can do the exact same thing with your token too. You can make yourself move like this. Oh. <laughs> if you if you press on your token, press Q, and then you, you Q on spots, you can make yourself move funny. But yeah. Okay. So Very, I'm thinking. Right. Yeah. Here. So I'm gonna warn you off the bat as a player. When you're within the reach of a creature, and you leave that cr the reach, uh, unless you take a specific action called the disengage action, uh, you will provoke what's called an attack of opportunity, letting him have one hit on you, or attempting to have one hit on you as you leave his reach. You as a rogue can do that as a bonus action, I think. I think you get at level one. Uh, it's called... Not sneak attack. No, you don't get it yet. You get it level two. Never mind. Okay. Right. I'm 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 okay I'm about thinking. cunning cunning actions level two. I think. So this, I'm thinking here, <laughs> trying to go around, just behind here. Yeah, level two. And then with my knife, I'll stab him in the back of the knee. Ow. Okay. Uh, roll, roll me to hit with that knife. I was once a great traveler like you, and so I took a shank to the kneecap. Yikes! Eek! I ro I roll for this guy. It was an actual one, so he missed you. You were fucking you nin ninja out out of the way, and you move behind him, and you roll me to hit there. Uh, it it officially said it was dead eye, but uh, I don't know. I know because uh, I'm selected as dead eye. I can't do it oh, individually okay. for everybody. That's fine. Yeah. It says it right there as bandit. That's yeah. That's why you're not supposed gotcha. to see DM rules because it gets sorry. Me switching between bandit and light card every time is a, a lot. It's fine. It does not. It misses. Welcome to level one. Doesn't quite. He, this this particular bandit seems to have like straps of leather right where you want to stab him, right at that tendon. Like just a thick piece of leather protecting him. He's like a B twenty five bomber. You put metal where it got shot and it went down. Not where it <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But you do move there. Uh, is there anything else you want to do on your turn? I can do more. Uh, I, can do more. Here, I, I will. I will. No, I have I'm a link not. to a, a page for everybody. Yeah, sure. You do that. Also. Uh, Consider it's opportunities as a rogue for sneak friends. attack. Yeah, that's a pretty handy link of things you can do on your turn. But until then, uh, just you know, think think about it. Think about the round. And I'll just move on because combat has to be streamlined a little bit. Uh, all right, this guy over here takes a big. <gasps> <coughs> you and then he I attempts. Bet you couldn't even hit me. You're so short. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. All right. Well, he's gonna try. Does a 14 hit? He meets. Uh, just about. So two slashing damage with a scimitar. Oh no, oh. my poor flesh. Okay, uh, this guy over here, over yonder, is gonna shake off the uh, mace hit from his head, and he's gonna turn around and try to hit this guy straight in the face. He's like, "Why you little?" And roll against what are you? Who twenty? That hits. Ooh. 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 For six. So they're all, they're going at it. Um, six uh, math time. I love doing math on the fly. <laughs> I hate okay. math. This guy gets up and is gonna do his thing. By the way, fun fact: if you press Alt and double click your token, it will open your character sheet. And oh, on top of that, that, if you double click the very top of that window, the white bar on top where it says your name, it will minimize it. Just so you can keep it on your screen, but not lose it. Oh wow! Yeah, I learning... have my character sheet open as like a, a new learning on the go. Oh, Thug has to roll. Uh, never whisper. It's fine. I'll just I'll just trigger them as they come along. Both hit. Uh, so this guy just bashes this guy's uh skull in. Dead. Ooh. Oh no, fuck. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Next. <laughs> oh, he actually gets Next two attacks. Is... <laughs> you next. Boop. For seven damage. <laughs> yeah, this guy's fucking yay. 
Clank! My time to shine! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> clank, 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 clank. He just puts he puts both his gauntlets on either side of his dwarf's face and he just turns really sharply. And you just can hear oh, a, you hear a <laughs> Murder Just kidding. <laughs> Murder. Uh no, I'm actually gonna make him Well I mean he has two slam attacks, so he's probably gonna he's he natural twentied, so Aren't you guys glad we friended Clank and the other three guys? <laughs> well, Mur murder <laughs> All right, I, I I set him I set him so he doesn't whisper his rolls anymore. I, I just already rolled it. So, uh, bandit. So this guy's dead. Oh, he, oh. Uh, oh, he died quick. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Cool. Bye. Next, this guy. It's gonna turn to you. He's like, oh, you're trying to trying to hit eat, trying try, trying to play stabby healy. I'll play oh. stabby healy with you. <laughs> stab stab. <laughs> There's a six hit. Probably not. Does I have six hit? Uh, fuck, looking up your names is hard because Faith. I have to... Faith, yes. I will get used to it eventually. Is it possible to toggle our, toggle our names under our tokens? Uh, oh, you know what, Hunter? This is why I have you here. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. That'll be five dollars. Uh, <coughs> fuck off. Hey. So, do you know what you're looking you to see if it hits or not, uh, Faith? Uh, where it says uh, current uh, hit points. No, uh, no. Where it says AC, that, AC? Armor top left corner. Yeah, oh, okay. this number right here. You're gonna want to see if his ruling meets that or exceeds it. Okay. So if the number is lower, the same as or higher than it. If it's the same or higher, it hits. If it's lower, it does not. One, two, three, one, two... I'm missing one. I'm, scared. I'm still scared from those 30s Tom was rolling earlier. That's not in anybody's scopes anytime soon. I know. It's like in my mind. Alright, Deadeye is going to turn around. Wait, we, we, oh, it was you, Arrow, who threatened him first. Let me yeah, show. I was the one who started the encounters. Mm, let me show you, boy, what happens. Pua! So wait, what did he? So he's gonna make <laughs> two swings at you with his scimitar. Uh huh. Does a twenty-four cool. and fourteen hit? Uh, twenty-four does fourteen, <laughs> not so much. Five slashing damage. So just subtract five from my thing. Yep. Yep. Yippers. Okay. And then, I... and then he's gonna oh, draw a dagger from his back pocket, and he's gonna look at uh, Faith there, and he's just gonna. Like throw it and it just goes. That's a, that's a nat one. That's a nat one, and it it sails it sails and it hits this guy instead, <laughs> killing him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <God. laughs> Whoops! Right, look so, at that guy, guys. Whoops. Can't even aim. He's got one eye. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, told that. That. I told you not to stand stand to my right. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, next bandit is. So you see one of the bandits steps out of the kitchen. He's like, hey, boss, she's not here. Oh, what the hell is going on here? And, <laughs> and he's going to walk past. Uh, uh, and he's just going to go here and try and boop you, Mork, I guess. Hey, short stuff. Oh, my. So wait, how do I, I subtract I Mork. the Are these guys help? all dwarves? Yes, they're all black bearded pirate dwarves. Oh, uh, okay. Where where are you? Who's speaking? I cannot duck their health. Um, oh, arrow. In the middle of arrow. The arrow and so, yeah, me. yeah where, it, where it says your hit points, if you hover over that, you'll see two arrows in the side. I'll, I'll, I'll link exactly what I'm talking about. These two arrows, just click on them, and they'll deduct your health one thing at a time. You can count, or you can just do math. Oh, okay. Math. Quick math. If there. you don't want to do quick math, there's, there's a trick. Uh, what is it called? Okay, um, hit so, uh, uh, Roll20 is written in JavaScript. And in JavaScript, if you want to do quick math, it's this way. I'll show you. So type this, and how much damage did you see? Four? Uh, it was five. Five. It was yeah. five. So just type this in. I'll show you in a second. Type this between two, two sets of closed brackets, and press enter. Oh, okay. Into chat. 
Oh. Well. So I'm guessing, like, as, like, the game progresses, the numbers are going to get higher? Yes. Yes. Okay. I have been numbers are gonna get higher, gonna get done. more tools under your belt. It's gonna get more interesting. I think level one kind of introduces you how to use your character, and then with you become more and more unique as you go along. Especially after level right. three and level five, you you really start to get into the yeah. spirit of the game. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, level? like level three is when you get your like subclasses. Yeah. That's when you become specialized. Level five is when your subclasses get really good stuff. Really, every level up is exciting, but like that's when you really start to like, oh, my character's a unique individual, not just a swingy swordy. Um, <laughs> Arrow. Swingy swordy. Yeah. Sure, barbarian. It's my turn. Never die, yes. swingy swordy. A little okay. bit surrounded. <laughs> so I am just going to go straight for it and try and hit this guy if my thing wants to ping. Whatever his name is, the captain if you, guy. If you cannot ping, it's because you're using hit him. If you cannot oh, ping, it's because you're using thing. measurement tools. Yeah. This guy. I'm gonna just try and hit this guy in the face with my mace. The name is Lecker Dead Eye Darvis, boy. Remember it. Or like Lecker, okay. I'm gonna be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> How do so, I I fucking love more cadaver? Like cadaver? That hits. <laughs> So in order to roll right. damage, just click on mace. The word mace will highlight in red, and just click that. Hey, uh, uh, dungeon. Dungeon. Dungeon daddy. Yes. Tom. Yes. Uh, how do I pull up the distance? Is that what I was supposed to do? No. The distance yeah. is, it the looks distance. like uh, uh, this. It, on, your, on your bar to the left, it looks like this. How do I roll for damage? Uh, uh, you'll so. just click mace. So you'll use your 21, and you'll press mace it should highlight red oh, yeah, yeah the, the text in the chat yeah i see yeah you just click it i can't do it but you can't do it, it. yes oh i see okay version. yeah so there you go six. six bludgeoning damage how much do you roll 21 nice okay yeah i'm using my measurement tool that's I why i cannot do this right now does, does my uh dragon's breath uh hit teammates too yes uh yes yes it does okay, so I actually gotta go eat real quick. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I so, think I think by the time you come back, it's gonna be a full round. Yeah. If anything, I'll give you two turns. If you miss your turn, it's fine. All right. <laughs> but I'm not gonna freeze the game just because you have to go eat. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Viren. By the way, if you guys feel like this is being slow, it's only because you guys have so many other NPCs on with you guys. This is a big group, Tom. I... <laughs> so so this is the kind of price of hiring help. But uh, anyways, Viren, yeah, sorry. Whatever. I'm gonna cast Ray of Frost on this guy right down ping it. Sure thing, just link it in chat if you don't mind. Okay. Seventeen hits. Roll damage. Now roll Ray of Frost, does it have any secondary um trace? I know it does, I just want you to say it out loud. So the group knows. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, um, as you hit with Ray of Frost. Yeah, so this guy is suffering cold damage. Do you and... want me to the spell into the chat. Yeah, if you don't, if you if you want to, yeah, that, that helps me and it helps. Uh, but I don't think you can do that right you'll now. You have to hit the the I button, I think. Yeah, the I button. Um. Yeah. Or no, it's uh, it looks like a text bubble. I was gonna say, what are you talking about? I'm a big dumb. Um, I don't see the text bubble thing. It's okay. Don't worry about it oh, right now. I know what it does. It just it slows him down by by ten. As he is encased in his sh fine sheet of ice. Uh, as you deal... How much? Ta eight cold damage. Woof. Yep. That's, a, that's a lot of damage. That's the mage. That's the mage of the group. Nice. Very nice. That's you want... a lot of damage. Yeah. That, no, that's a that's lot of damage. A lot. <laughs> uh, do you want to do anything on your, else on your turn there, Byron? Um, you... I guess yeah. I'll take another step to like the side. You know, make step to the left. Step to the left. Sorry. Take back, man, yeah. You spend yeah. the entire 30 feet of your movement doing the Macarena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so another one of the thugs steps out of the kitchen and is like, all right, what's well, taking you so long, Balder? Oh, what the hell is going on here? Uh, <laughs> and he sees <laughs> his buddy frozen and he, he like trails with his eyes the, the fine powdery trail of snow that has been left behind by this cold bolt uh, to Viren and he's like, why are you? And he's does he have enough movement? Oh, he has just about enough movement to approach you. Oh Is that shit! An opportunity attack. <laughs> oh, Byron. Actually, you know what? He's not. He's gonna. He's he's gonna stop here, and he's gonna draw out a light crossbow, and he's gonna take aim. 
And would that be <laughs> I was just gonna say, would that be disadvantage because he's got a dude with a melee weapon right next to him? Uh, no. It would be disadvantage what? if he was attacking the dude with a melee weapon with a crossbow. But it's not disadvantageous if you're sitting next to him and you're attacking this target. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, if you're um, if, if you're just, just yeah. Just for future reference, um, if he were to approach me, he wouldn't get an uh, this guy wouldn't get an attack of opportunity. He would. Okay. This guy, this is his reach. If this guy leaves his reach over here, this guy gets an opportunity of attack. Uh, just make sure. Yep, yep, yep. So he, no, the, the arrow just <laughs> sails past your head and just thumps into the stone wall behind you. Um, uh, I mean, uh, how, how, how do we feel about looking up rules in the middle of combat? Is that a just don't do it? Correct me. Or... I don't care about little rule iron if it's really, really, really important. Correct me if I don't do something right because we all want to be fair here. Okay. Uh, just uh, don't, don't be like, you know, an asshole about it. Okay. Uh, not being an asshole, just being nice. Uh, rules is written uh, ranged attacks. You have disadvantage if there's any hostile creature next to you that's not incapacitated. I'll have to look that up. Um, so, so... I will do that after combat. I'm... Yeah, remind remind, remind anyway, me. So. Remind me. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, remind me or send me a screenshot of where it is you're reading it from, and I'll, I'll verify it. If that's the case, that's the case. Uh, yeah. This thug that you hired is going to pocket his ten silver, smile, broad smile, and charge right in. Who's left standing here? Ah, fuck it, this guy. <laughs> fuck <laughs> it. Fuck it, this guy. <laughs> Hitting with one, Walk. five damage. That multi attack at level one's gross. There, he, he's not level one. No, I mean for us, if he was. You well, know. you 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 spent your gold on it, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Top of the round, finally. More talk. I uh, I take out my sword, which I aptly call mortality, <laughs> and I I make an attack on this guy. <laughs> Is it mortality with a K in there somewhere? Yes. Uh, Gross. Right, it's an 18 hit. An 18 hits. That's a uh, six piercing damage. Hey, you, hey, you just cleave him across the shoulder, and it digs digs right in. It's still standing on his feet, but he, he flinches. And great. I leave the sword in him, and I punch the other guy. Nice. <laughs> this guy? Yes, it does. Five damage. Yeah, that guy right there. Uh, you you punch him, and you just punch his nose right straight into his brain. Ooh. Cool. Uh, actually, I'd rather grab him by the neck and break his neck and throw him aside. He are, you, are you are you killing him? <laughs> <laughs> are you yeah. just yeah, you just, just eat him. Okay. Oh, oh, the big guy. Throughout <laughs> throughout this entire fight, Mork never left his chair. <laughs> he's just he just spins on a chair. He's doing all this like effortlessly. He still has, he, he still has his ale in one hand. Yeah, Mork yeah. is gonna scoot on the stool over here. On the stool. I'm on, I'm on the stool. Shuffle, <laughs> shuffle the stool closer. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> Bapo. I'm gonna be my second Kenshi weapon Bapo. will be a stool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Bapo. Uh, yeah. Um, what can I do? Uh, here? Yes. Take your sheet. What? Bapo. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Hello. Yes. All right, uh, I'm gonna uh, slap uh, the guy right there. All right. Attack him. Attack him. Slap him with the sword. Hit him with the sword. Go ahead. Yeah, oh, that would hurt sword. so much. All right, all right, all right, all right. Great sword. Ah. Oh, little hits. Great sword. You swing it wide. Roll for damage. It hits. Uh, roll for damage. Okay. Um, Just click on great sword. Uh, press great sword. On in chat, click great sword. Right oh. below your twenty-one. There you go. For six slashing damage, as as yeah. Also, I would like to like point out a fun fact about in D and D. Hit points represent not just health. I mean, they do, but they also represent battle stamina and all that. So, not all hits actually harm. Some hit hits exhaust your opponent. Some hits cause them to you know he parried, but you know you he lost his balance. It's battle stamina. It's how much long how long you can be in battle before you receive a fatal wound. Just, you know, a fun mentality oh, to yeah. have. But hits for six. Applied. Nice. Very nice hit. Anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, 
Can I move right or <coughs> can I move right here by walking around? Like, yes. You know, right. Certainly. Right. It will take you just FYI, if you were here and yeah. you're walking like this, it takes you two two units of movement, so five five and another five, to walk through a space that your allies like, occupy. Yep. So this okay. would be twenty five movement. So, so even if you were moving through your allies' space, you still have enough movement to yeah, you can move over here or over here right. if you wanted, yeah. Okay, so uh uh yeah, yeah, alright. That's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh this banner over here kind of like you hear a crack and then a shatter as he uh, dislodges himself from the encasing of ice uh and <laughs> draws a like crossbow from his side, aims for Varian, and does a 14 hit. Um, isn't he a disadvantage? Okay, I'm gonna look it up right now, actually. So, do you need five range? We're not doing, do we're range... Not doing that. Oh, I'm gonna look it up right now. We'll, we'll resolve it now. Do, do ranged attacks have disadvantage if. Hey, guys, if uh, sure Paul's not advantage. back before right. his turn, I could just play his turn. I, I tend not to do that with players. I mean, I'll, I'll rule something for him myself. Yeah. I just don't. Right. You know, it's not. It's, uh, how would you feel about something else playing your character? Yeah. Hey, last time that happened, I was turned pink in another campaign. So like. What? <laughs> All right. So I don't, I'm not too sure where it is you read that rule, but I'm I stand correct. Um, I'll I'll show you. I'll I show you the in chat. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. So roll P73. Um, aiming what a ranged weapon make? is the when a foe is next to you. When you make a ranged weapon uh, with attack, a spell, or many means, you have to turn on attack roll if you are within five feet of a hostile creature who can see you and isn't. Wait. So what was the question? Hold on. Uh, what was the question? What did he ask? Because that's not what I googled. Sorry. I might have actually... You might be right then. Aiming a ranged weapon is more difficult when the foe is next to you. When you make a ranged attack with a weapon, a spell, or some other means, you have disadvantage on the... Okay, fair enough. So he's going to roll it with his advantage. Does a 7 hit. No. Okay, sweet. Yeah, we'll, we'll be rolling with that roll going forward. Thank you for correcting me. Okay. See, I don't mind roll ro 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 correcting. If it's important, yeah. then yeah. Mind you, it's going okay. to apply the same thing for you guys. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. All right. All right. So the thug hired over here, who's having a blast of time, is going to go ahead and hit this guy. Boop boop. Twenty-three hits, six. He's down. Uncon right. Unconscious, dead. You're not too sure, but uh, that's a strong hit, and their blood was drawn. Uh, next turn, Valandres. Villain, yes. Uh, Vel Villandres, yes. Sorry. Okay, so uh, one is this guy that Clank uh, attacked. Is he like very obviously just beyond the pale of like healing won't help? Like, you can you, you can certainly try. All right, um, I'm gonna try and use a point of lay on hands on him. Um, so so that down by as this one. vibrant radiant energy seeps through his skin into the muscle tissue, you hear a little. As the vertebrae oh, <laughs> that <God>. snap <laughs> replace himself, and he, he you just hear him like, <gasps> "Oh God, I seem to have side man." And then the clank is like, "Oh, you're alive again!" Cool. And he boops him on the head, and just he he makes him unconscious instead. Okay, <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that's Valen's action. He's gonna say, "Damn it all! Disable! Don't kill if you can!" And all right. In that case, speaking, speaking it doesn't take any action or anything. I, I know some people are like, oh, six words per turn. You can speak. Okay, yes. That's, yeah. that's always does this turn. Yeah. Um, then Balin, uh, how... I mean, he's, yeah, I'm probably going to fight uh, this idiot. But how injured is this? Like, How dead is he? Just crushed <laughs> or... How dead is he? That's the question. Is that <laughs> the one that got his head like whacked him by the mace? He yeah. dead dead. Is he? Oh, yeah. Or is that a I mean, uh, I mean, the they, they can be aided. You have that talent. You have the touch that they yeah. can be aided, especially if they're like freshly downed. But like, 
you know, you're expanding your resources here. That's I know. It, it's gonna be it's an interesting character development. I'm just saying, as a DM, you're gonna you're gonna regret it one day. <laughs> well, that's that's why I'm playing a Redemption Paladin is yeah. because okay. it's you choose for it to be harder, but yeah, yeah I'm gonna no, move here. You, you you do that, yeah. You choose for it to be harder because in the end, it's worth it to be a good person. But that ends my turn. Oh, you didn't do anything? Okay. No, okay. well, I used my action. Right. So I can't attack. Faith. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll move over here. All right, that would be 20 feet of movement. That's 20 25. Feet. Yeah, but you're moving through his space. Yeah, you're moving through me. Yeah, okay. So it's 25 feet. As yeah. I'm doing that, as I'm sliding over there, <laughs> yeah. I can see our seat. I'll yeah. hit him with my short sword. <laughs> he just does a, like a knee slide. Like, like a mm -hmm. yeah. drive or uh, drive run stabbing. Yeah. So go ahead and roll for that to hit. Oh, the short sword. Yep. Also, you get uh, sneak attack. Yeah, that's a short bow, my short my friend. Bow. That's a short bow. And also on your oh, character sheet, shit. you will find the following. <laughs> Look at chat. Um, this modifier here is your bread and butter as a rogue. Sneak attacks, you get them whenever you have an ally, another ally within five feet of the enemy you're attacking, whenever you get advantage on attack, whatever sneak attack describes there. Check that off. Check off that sneak attack whenever you have sneak attack, because that's 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 really good stuff as a rogue. God, that's... I need to re-roll for the sword sword. I did the short bow in accident. Yeah, I'm just saying, before you roll... Check off the sneak attack. See what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that uh, that hits. That hits. Okay. Just click on short sword in that box. Mm -hmm. Didn't I just do it? Nope. Uh, you uh, click on. Click, click on it in, in chat, chat below below seventeen. Click on short sword. Yeah. And that's an that's that's a. Uh, Rolling for damage. Do you understand what I'm saying here, man? No, I'm not. So below the 17 in chat is a little short sword, but like text. Click it. Okay. In chat. In chat. I'm on the right side of the screen. <laughs> He's having <laughs> on on the right side of the screen where like the rolls show up. Your roll is gonna be there for your short sword. Oh, there Click on the fun. name short sword. There, there you go. go. You did it. And see how it rolled. The wrong fucking thing. <laughs> see how it rolled two different dice. It rolled your one d six plus your dexterity for attack, and then it rolled an additional one d six for your sneak attack. So you're you, that's all totaled up to a ten. So that's where that's where rogues really shine. So that always told me. Always try and like look for opportunities for sneak attacks because you you as the DPS you you really you're really good at that shit. And a, a ten is devastating for this guy. Yeah. So you manage to, to just slash at his standard as as he summers curses under his breath and and tries to find his balance. Is that your turn? Yeah. All right. Bandit over here is unconscious slash dead. Bandit over here is unconscious slash dead. <laughs> this thug over here has a turn. He's gonna go ahead and uh, listen to you, Valandras, and he's gonna be like, oh, "All right, there's no fun in them when they're not." I mean, whatever. Uh, and he's gonna go ahead and like flip his mace in the air, catch it by the actual maul, and hit him with a handle. Nice. Boop, boop. Uh, oh. See, it's less effective this way. <laughs> Only hit him with. Oh, no, he hits with one for four. Uh, yeah, that's enough to... He's unconscious, this guy over here. Bonk. Nice, Bonk. nice hit to the temple. That's why I wear a helmet, kids. <laughs> <laughs> but but don't look at me, I don't have a helmet. Yeah, you don't have a helmet, what are you talking my about? Skull's my helmet. All right. Clank. <laughs> it's less fun when they're not dead. But... <laughs> uh, <laughs> is anybody else left? Uh, yeah, this guy right here. By me. So he, so he like, lifts he lifts one gauntlet and he points at him and he, like you know like the whole like oh my washing do you and he's gonna yeah. go ahead and clank over there 
Uh, that's gonna be that. And, oh, look at him, what a champion. Alright. Uh, nothing personal, kid. And... Slam, slam. Hits with Ooh, one for six. That's enough. Non-lethal. Goodbye. Alright, cool. Uh, next. I think that's it for bandits, really. <clears throat> Leckard looks around and wary. Uh, who's the most threat here? I mean, he's almost completely surrounded. Yeah. This is an ideal situation. Uh. All right. Like so you he grenade. he is going to uh attempt to reposition himself. So he's gonna run, and those of you within five feet of him get an opportunity of attack. Tactical repositioning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quarter staff attack then. Uh, trying to not like trip him up, knock him out, but pain painful but not deadly. So are we all doing this? Everybody uh, within five uh, feet of one, one, two, three, four, five. Five people get to hit him. I oh, missed. Fuck. Papo, Faith, Valandas. That's the one I was Gosh, missing. That's, you. That's a seven. That Erwin, that's, you're the one I was missing. Oh, do you guys benefit from flanking him when he's leaving? Oh, yes, I didn't mind go twice. Is, that is a 20. It does hit. So there. do I got to roll an attack or what? So everybody, yeah. Uh, Bapo, Faith, Valandas, Erwin, and Mork. You were five feet away from him as he stepped away and tried to position himself. You get an opportunity of attack because he left your right, reach. So, so, so who, I did it. Who would have had flank on him when he when they attacked? Uh, everybody who were like across from. So you two. Oh yeah, okay. I, I did that. It's, and that's it. My bad. So oh, okay, do you not. Get well, actually, you two. Oh, okay. So Mark, Erwin, everybody but Volantes, because you don't have anybody. No, never mind. Yeah. You do have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a that's still a flank. Oh. Okay. If okay, if I had flank, then in that case, uh, let me do another one of those. Uh, nineteen. But do we want to use the original damage? Just because it auto rolled. I'm looking up flank rolls real quick, just so I'm not mistaken about that. Uh, yep. No, the creature has to be large for that measurement to be correct. Okay, this, never mind. I miss. So it's it's just oh, yeah, it's I just it's just Erwin and Bapo. Yep. I was thinking about like hmm, that's kind of overpowered if it's like this way because then it's everybody within five feet. But yeah. Uh, okay, well, I got. Want to roll your damage? Okay, everybody who rolled above seventeen hits. So everybody who hits, yeah. let me know what's the damage there. I got a six. I damage for six. I got a ten. Uh, slashing ten. Anybody else above uh, seventeen? Um, hold on. I think I clicked this right. That's fine. This is what session one is for. Learning as we as we go along. Well, you guys will be faster about this, but you know we're learning. Hmm. Is that good? It's above seventeen, so. Yeah, that's seven total, and you get sneak attack because you have hours without within five feet. Anybody else? Uh, I think I did ten slashing because I was within five, and I'm a large creature. Yeah. Uh, well, you're not a large creature, but you're within five. Yes. Uh, oh. th what was your what was your what was your roll? Uh, twenty. I awesome. accidentally rolled it as uh my roll twenty, not my bapo. Yeah. That's but all it was right. Twenty out of eighteen. Or 20 and 18. Nice. I got a 22, so... Very nice. <clears throat> Alright, so, as you guys slash at him, uh, he manages to, to, to throw uh, a few curses your way, uh, seeing himself outnumbered. He's gonna try and throw yet another dagger in Arrowwood's direction. Does a 17 hit? 17 does not hit. <laughs> it just It just chinks into your armor, and, and you casually remove it from your chainmail. I and just then, grab it and I yank it out and toss and, it on the floor. Yeah. And <sighs> he, he that was his full movement. Uh, he's over there. <laughs> this guy is screwed. <laughs> oh, he's dead. That'll win. So, so can I move over there by him? Uh, yeah, certainly. Or right, wait. Like, say, like, here, 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 here. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to move by him and then just going to swing at him again with my mace. Oh, <laughs> 
You could block the door as well. I could, but I'd rather try and knock him out. How much health does this guy have? I can't tell you. A lot more than us. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So I put this here. I can tell you, I can tell you, like, visual A's. Like, after that kerfuffle with you guys, with him leaving, and you just, you're all going to ham on him, he is bloodied. <laughs> he is oh. limping. He has, like, a black eye on his other eye that's not blind. This guy's <laughs> in rough shape. He's, he's, he's trying to escape to fight another so, day. So, does a nine hit? A nine does not hit. No. All right. He, he manages to parry it and and push you away. Uh, anything else? Mm, or Viren that's takes... pretty much it for me. Right. Viren, you are uh, 35 feet good. away from him in the room. I'm going to take my 30 feet of movement to go. Okay. Oh, uh, you went quiet there again. I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, you broke my arm. Uh, I, I was gonna cast another Ray of Frost on him. Sure. I need to do. Ray of Frost. Is that a cantrip? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, seven does not hit. Unfortunately, it it sails past him. Dang. That is a shame. Okay, so it's Google, now... please. At this point, the thugs look kind of around confused, like everybody's unconscious or and or dying, and they're just like, oh, that was that was that was short lived. So they don't they don't really do much. Mork. I'm gonna just uh, skadoodle onto this table. And, uh, kick to the face. Bonk. Kick to the face. Oh. Roll, roll for damage for for the ones that hit. They both hit. All right. So with non non lethal, you you slap him across the face, and you do a back swing with your foot, and you hit him right at the temple, and he falls to the floor unconscious. And yes. that's how it's done. And I catch and my beer. Is end of initiative. All right. Clank is doing, doing doing what he does best, and he's just clapping, just clank 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 clank. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Can... is... Victory. So you were so... you were wondering how much health this guy's had? Sixty five. Oh, oh wow! Fuck. Holy crap! Yeah, we beat him like that. We had we had overwhelming numbers. Uh, hey, Hashtag DM, numbers. Uh, with my my healing hands and my lay on hands, I have three points of healing to give out. Can I just go between the most injured? Uh, you will literally bandits? you will literally heal everybody but one bandit who is just unfortunately just way too late for him. Oh, he's he's just dead, dead. I can't. Do yeah, it I mean, like you don't, have, you don't have you only have three points of healing. You just don't have yep. enough divinity in you. Maybe you'll bear this weight of guilt on you forever. Maybe next time you'll be more careful. <laughs> but you you managed to to revivify three of them. To the I, point I can't of, do a med. Sorry, I can't do a medicine check to attempt. Or you can. Is you that... know what? I'll give it to you. Go ahead. This guy is the one who's like he's not breathing. He's not showing any much of very weak vital signs. He's fading. He's growing cold. Okay. So, yeah. And, and um, this this Bruce is just like laughing about it. He's like, "Well, that's what you told me to do." I mean, all whatever. right. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, which guy was it again? This guy. I'll just move my. Okay. Um. So Valen's going to utter like grab his holy symbol as he's like bandaging this guy's wounds and just mutter uh, a prayer. Please, let me save him. Please, and medicine. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> Shit. Uh, you you watch kill him. This this guy opens his eye, and you see like a glimmer of hope in those pupils, and then they kind of shrink to a pinpoint, and he gives off one cough and a trail of blood, and fades. Valen stands up, and there's he's like uh, wisps of smoke um, coming out from between his armor, and he just like walks over to the bar and slams his fist down god damn it uh, whatever so uh, from the stairs you just hear a very slow clap well well that that was fun to watch very well done as promised you scratch my back I scratch yours boys 
You're looking for the cult of the Death Three. Look northwest. There is a bathhouse. I'm sure my my sources are clear. I'm sh you will find them there. They're in hiding. Look to the owner and ask her for Jabba's special. When you walk into the room, check the walls for a secret entrance. That is all the information I have to tell you. Good luck on your ventures, and thanks again. Be sure to uh, rubbish his pockets. He probably has some good stuff in there. Oh, and I'm... Oh, I planned on it. I'm sorry about... <laughs> I'm sorry about your, your... Your tragedy there. Your friend seems to be in a bad mood, but... You know, this is the way it is in Baldur's Gate. You take a life, you save many. These guys are no good, I'm telling you. Anyway, thanks again. I'll be seeing you guys around. I have a game to return to. And she casually went, goes upstairs. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the music off for now. And I think that's a very good place for us to call it a night, I think. Yeah? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, that's she told you, good. just as a, as a summary, she told you guys that the Cult of Death 3 has a, a base of operation in a bathhouse to the northwest. Um... You know, you, you walk in there, you ask for what she called Jabba's special, uh, and when you walk into the room where they lead you, check the walls for any secret entrances, and and, and you're golden. Uh, you know, the thugs, they pocket their gold, they take their seats another day in the Sea of Blood, no big deal. Good money earned. Uh, if you guys want to roleplay anything last minute, you can. Uh, I think I, that, this was really fun. I, um, I assume... I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. No, you take priority, go ahead. Sorry. I assume we get these guys like taken off to jail. Uh, yeah. So after about four minutes of waiting, you know, eventually some some bell whistler calls for the city watch. Uh, they walk in. They they half hazardly look about the room. Yet another tavern brawl. See a bunch of unconscious uh, people who clearly took partook uh, in the fight. And they put them in shackles, the ones who breathe. The ones who don't breathe, they drag to the city street and literally just leave them on city streets for urchins to be clean and rats to eat. Um, uh, I mean... Uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, are, are, is the party planning on going, like, straight to the bathhouse? Because we've, like, we're a little bit... We've used some resources. And, uh... uh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I was answering your question. I was going to say, I want to buy some spell components, some stuff for spell components before we yeah. get to the back. Yeah, for sure. Um, um, before yeah. the uh, guys get hauled off, can I uh, uh, check, like their, check pockets? their pockets? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm act I was actually just looking that up right now. Um, yeah. So, Captain Mars goes to the some point bag. I... So, why don't we gather up everything they have, if they have anything, and then just kind of split it among the party. Yeah. That sounds fair to you guys. Oh, we well, I'll, first I'll tell you what you find, and you guys can split it however you want. So, Ravaging, uh, Dead Eyes uh, vest, uh, tucked in his uh, pocket is a pouch containing uh, the f 32 gold pieces and 15 silver pieces. So you may divide it up however you wish. 32 gold pieces? And 15 silver pieces. He also wears two gold necklaces. Um... Just one of each other, kind of like like tea paint, <laughs> just like a wrapper. Two golden necklaces, one of each other. Each of them probably will fetch you anywhere between twenty to thirty gold, depending who you ask. Um, on his finger is a black and gold ring with a white pearl set in it. It is quite a hell of a lot more expensive than 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 those gold chains. Depending who you ask, you might you will fetch a hefty price for it. Uh, two gold chains, a ring. Um, and uh, I'm gonna say each of the other ones cares. Uh, I'll rule for it. So how many? How many are you? Remembering? Six of them. Yeah, so six. You find. No, nope. there's seven. Are you gonna well, loot the guy who's dead? I'll loot the dead guy. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's <laughs> seven. You find twenty-eight more silver pieces among them. All uh, right. Phelan glares at him. Is there? Uh, is there... <laughs> This is your party, man. Uh, I know, I know. It's uh, I'm not expecting everyone else to be a paragon of virtue. I, what I am wondering is that is there some service in the city for like if you want to get a body buried, 
Uh, Ab- absolutely. There is a funeral uh, service home. Uh, I, I'll give you the name. I'll have to like I I have it here in my notes, but uh, uh, you know, it's session end. I kind of want to wrap it wrap it up. Uh, you can message me. Uh, maybe like a bullet point thing of things you want guys want to do. Be it shop around auxiliary things. If you think, feel like I don't have to role play it and we can just do it to be ready for next session, I can write that into the summary of like, okay, you guys did this. You can even get a room in this inn, right? And we can get that out of the way as well. Uh, if you want a place to stay, like a party hub, up to you. Um, I mean, you, you get to know the NPCs, you might as well surround yourself with friends, especially since, you know, you bought out these three guys and they're like, you know, they're happy, they're happy to punch more faces in. But in terms of, if you want to get somebody buried, yes, that would be in the Gazette tier. Where is that? Where is that? City Landmarks, is it? I mean, nope, that's not City Landmarks. Uh, lower City, is that the one? Hold it is that. probably the one, yes. Mm-hmm. It's in here somewhere. I'm okay, that's fine. Up. If you if you want to get back to me on it, I, it doesn't need to happen right now. Um, um I I'm I'm scrolling on. It's just a matter of scrolling far enough to to get to Control F. Uh, in I Rule Twenty, I wish. <laughs> that sucks. So I mean, I'm going to answer two questions in one for you. Uh, our good old mage. For you, Viren, there is a general store that sells spell components. It's called Sorcerer's Sundries or sundries, you you tell me how do you pronounce this? Uh, I pronounce it sundries, but it might be sundry sundries. 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 Yeah. sundries. It looks like it'd be fast it's a sundries. it's a it's a dome of stained glass roofs. Um, this tall sundries. round shop casting chaotic shafts of color down across several open air. I'll describe it when you go to it. How about this? Yeah, I won't go in. And then there is... Uh, f- fuck, I don't know why I can't find it in my notes, but if I Google it real quick, it's some... It's, yeah, there's a funeral. Uh, probably, <laughs> there's a funeral home thing. Hold up. Uh, are we going to split the uh, loot or whatever? Uh, you Do you want to just split it equally, or do you want to... Um, se- can I request just that pearl necklace and like nothing else? Valen would suggest using some of the money to pay for the dead one's funeral, or yeah, you know, at least burial. We okay. Could throw a couple of gold coins in his pockets and let him go. Uh, <laughs> who's, who's he in the sentence, Valen or the dead guy? No, no. I think he's meaning we put a few gold into the guy's pocket and then roll him into the funeral home and walk away. Yes, that that's that's wrong. that that works. Sure, yeah. Okay. So, how many gold <laughs> coins do we have? Wait. So we have. How much would a funeral for... cost? Okay, he said oh. we have 32 gold coins, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have 32 gold coins and how much silver? Uh, 28 plus 15. 28 plus 15. 43? 43 silver coins. Okay, uh, uh, what jewelry do we have? So you, uh, two you gold found necklaces two... and the, mm-hmm. the ring. Uh, a the ring pearl with ring. pearl in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The pearl oh, ring. Oh, wait. The, so, the ring has a pearl in it. Can I have that? Because I know that's a spell component for like in the two future. Gold necklaces. What's and... the What's the cost for the spell component? Oh, you don't have a spell yet, right? You're level one. But yeah, that's a good yeah. point. And one pearl ring. Okay, so that, that's all the loot we have, right? Is right there. Yeah. Is the pearl ring? Isn't that like a spell component for identify? I mean, this is meta game, but like. No, it's yeah, not. It's not meta game. You would know magic, simple magic rules. I'm not gonna be like, oh, your character doesn't know his own spell components. No, you, you know. Yeah. Um, and it's a spell component. Identify a whole bunch of other spells, I think, too. Yeah. Probably want to give really that. Expensive. Mm-hmm. Well, all I really want is like a handful of gold. You guys can split up the rest of the stuff. All right. <laughs> so. We'll put we'll put uh, three gold coins in the dead guy's pocket. Yeah. How much sure. is a funeral arrangement? Okay. Well, uh, how about Valen just holds on to the three gold coins and then he'll talk to the funeral people and we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So, uh, you take three gold, which leaves us with twenty nine. So twenty nine gold. Okay. What if we can we? Is that uh, divisible by six? Yeah, I'll tell you. Just let me know what's the amount to divide among the six of you, and I'll do it. 
We have. I have. Uh, I have. A, I have bought for that. Pretty much. Uh, oh, so guys, for the math, uh, Valen is not going to take any of the stuff you've looted off those guys. So divide oh, okay. among so five people. By five. What is the amount I'm dividing? Five. Tell me the amount. Yeah. Twenty-nine. Okay, so we gold. have twenty-nine gold. Mm -hmm. So um, four of us would be able to take six, and then I mean. No, tell yeah, me the amount, please. How much? How many for silver pieces? Uh, silver uh, pieces. Forty-three. 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 Divided among five of you, that would be an equal exchange of uh, six gold pieces, six, six silver pieces, and six uh, copper pieces. Six, six, six. Okay. All right, so we're each getting how much? Six. Six, co six. gold, six silver, and six copper each. Okay. If it's among the five of you without uh, Valen uh, partaking. Yep. 20... So Six gold, six copper, and six. Yes. Six gold and six copper. Fifteen. Okay. okay. All right. And then we still have uh, a pearl ring and two gold necklaces. Yes. Okay. Who wants the pearl ring? Why don't that I, our mate our uh, caster wanted it for a spell component. Uh... I do yeah, that. forgive me, Viren. Viren. Viren can have it. I don't have any use. Do you know how to it. add things to your inventory? I mean, like gold is expendable. But you know how to add items to your inventory? Yeah. So, Viren, uh, you are a patriarch. You would know jewelry. You would know that this pearl encased in the so the gold ring. Oh, well, you know, whatever, twenty to thirty gold. But a pearl guaranteed at least 100 gold pieces worth. So if you want to know the worth on there, along with the item, go ahead. Right, I'm right. aware of how much, how expensive the pearl ring is. That's why I said I wanted. I mean, like your family deals with jewelry, dyes, and whatnot. So you would know, you would know jewelry. Probably want to hang on to that for identify or other stuff. Yeah, that's why I wanted it because okay, in the sorry. future, Hunter, I Hunter's like no you have to use identify difference. to know what what uh, magic items. What <laughs> we've been like, <laughs> we've never used identify in my campaign in uh, before. So <laughs> even I don't even think we have it. No, because because you don't have it, I was like you don't need it because other NPCs can do it for you for a price, and uh, so it's, I was just like, well, but right. identify is more like for uh, when you don't have time to, so you want it instantly kind of thing. But anyways. Yeah. Uh, right. you, that's the gold division. Uh, what else? Dead Eye Ship. The, yeah, go ahead. You first. The there's two necklaces. Um. Yes. How are we gonna divide those up? I think one of us should like hold on to them for now and then go sell them and split. Yeah, sell them. And sell what them. it sells for. Would I have an advantage selling jewelry to like get the highest value? I, I think I don't know about advantage. It depends on on your role play more, but than your character. If you come up with a very creative idea that will give you an edge in haggling for for a better price, I'll give you advantage. If you do something cool role play beforehand, I'll give you inspiration. You can use that for the haggle. Uh, by the way, v Valen, uh, I'm gonna do like one or two players every session gets the uh, inspiration. Uh, Valen, I really like how immersed you got. So go ahead and push inspiration for yourself. Uh, Thank you. And Hunter. Just because it's funny that you're fighting on the stool, I like, I like that. Let's go ahead and put inspiration yourself. Inspiration can be What's used it? for your teammates as well. So when you do a help action, you can use in, in your inspiration point to to do that. As yeah, well. Mork's great. I love Mork. He's he's awesome. I I just it's just the <laughs> nonchalant like, hey shorty, I fucking love that shit. Mm, um, hey, uh, Tom, Tom. Yes, yes. You know the uh, pirate guy right here. Hold yeah. on. This one, yeah. Guy? Dead eye. Yep. Can I, can, I, can I steal his hat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here, here, here. It's a great idea. In my campaign, when I play through this, I actually played a warlock who can put on faces. I disguise this guy for two whole sessions because I love that eye so much. Yeah, you can have his hat. Now you need to Photoshop the hat onto his dragon. No, 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 no. I can do that. <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still getting used to the voices. Who is that? That's uh, Bapo? Yeah, Bapo. Okay, yeah, yeah. you can. That's very much with your character because, like, guards, especially Baldur's Gate, are, you know, I won't say they're corrupt, but they're very, like, chaotic. You know? Sure. They do what they want, that, kind of thing. Uh, it's it's mm -hmm. okay, you can say corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. 
yeah, use that one for now. And then uh, yeah. if you want to Photoshop the, the I'll Photoshop hat, a fire hat onto your head. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I shit, did. that rocks. All right, cool. <laughs> So, um, yeah, for now, use that one, I guess, and then Photoshop his hat onto the. the did you man miss something? On oh, that's funny. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna mention this before I leave. Dead Eyes ship the Uncivil Serpent again. Uncivil Serpent spelled like this uh, is moored at the end of uh, a dock on the east side of the harbor, according to what Tarina told you guys. Um, yeah. It might be guarded. You're not too sure, but uh, mm -hmm. now without a captain, it is up for grabs. Uh -huh. Ooh. I don't mm. know if that's what you guys want to do, especially Valandros being so lawful. But just a fun fact to know of, like, I'm not gonna make you guys miss this uh, opportunity if that's in anybody's flavor to do. Uh, can maybe we? The, maybe the guild can sell the ship. The uh, several servant has is it's a good selling ship. Um, yeah, uh, although like the ship is, ships usually are worth like ten thousand gold pieces intact. No one in Baldur's right. Gate will want to buy Has it enough because, money because of its more like because of its uh, infamous reputation. Oh, okay. Okay. It well, can we, be. I mean, so you could probably find people who would buy it, but nobody would probably, you know, pay the full price for it just because of like what's who it's associated with and uh, the baggage that, like, that comes with it. These guys, whoever they are, you guys are not too sure, are, are not good guys. Yeah. yeah. Clearly. Guys, sorry. Valen's not a total fun spoiler. We could try and do something with, like, getting that ship and using it. Maybe the oh. cargo. Just don't, like, just don't, like, slaughter the, clue, the crew is all I ask. Uh, no, no. That, no, no. that, <laughs> that and We're also, like, maybe, just maybe it might come up later in a campaign, you know, no, we'll see. All your actions have consequences. So, like, oh. you guys leaving these guys alive and them going to jail. By the way, the, the guards take them away, the city watch, as they take them away, yeah. they're, like, they recognize these guys. They're, like, wanted people. So they're gonna go ahead and uh, put in a good word um, Ooh. with Zodge. So, like, this is also as a concept. They're not going to pay you the bounty because there wasn't... Uh, you guys will get rewarded. But, like, th th this... I will note this in my notes that, you know, Zodge is like, oh, I sent these guys to do a job and they're doing a good job kind of thing. Zodge in my campaign was an asshole, but I feel like, you know, if you guys do good shit and, and you get it on his good side, he's... If he we do what he, he wants, he'll like us. He might even do a favor back for you guys without, you know, trying to hustle you guys. But, uh... What? He I made fun of Balin's dead parents. It's, he's, he's, he thinks he's an asshole. He didn't, he didn't know they were dead, to be fair. <laughs> it's mostly because, uh, it's, you know the lore. Like, Baldur's Gate and Elturel yeah. has al have always been in a feud. So, like, and Valen is a very Elturelian oh, name. Shit. So it's like, what kind of loving parents give birth in a city? Just fucking pious pieces of shit. You know, whatever. Evan and fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I get what you mean. Uh... uh yeah. See ya. Bye, Faith. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm. So... Yeah. Out of stuff. Anybody else have any last minute questions? Yeah. So, um, what, like, what I was, um, to go back to what I was saying before, when I asked about getting an advantage to sell the gold necklaces, I didn't mean an in-game advantage. I meant like a plotline advantage. So, like, I imagine if I was trying to sell jewelry, like, in the lower district where people don't really. Um, maybe some people just wouldn't care about nobility. Like I would get people who try to scam me a bit. But if I were to go to like the higher upper city where people like know me, they respect me for my time. See, and stuff, I'm, like, you're doing exactly what I want you to. You're 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 giving me a, a reason for me to yeah. give you advantage. When you role play, when you use your character, when you're being creative, yes, I give you advantage. Like, oh, I go to the upper city. Do I know anybody in the upper city having lived there who would dealt with this? I'll be like, yeah, sure. Your family, the Raven Shades, deal in dyes and jewelry. You have your connections. Okay, then I go to that person. Now you have advantage to deal with them because they know they will give you a good price. They won't try to swindle you, and they might even throw something in extra for you if you ask them. Because you gave me background uh, from your character. Okay. So that's perfect, yeah. Okay, so um, during our next session, would I have to roleplay, like, actually go into a shop where, like, my name is... A that is up to you. If you're capable, that'll be fun. If you don't feel like that's necessary, just write me what you want to do, and I'll do it text based. And I'll just inform everybody okay. else that, like, uh, well, everybody else was doing this, Viren went up too. But here's the thing. 
and you would notice being a patriarch, you're heading to the upper city. You're the only character in the party who can fully do that. You you have a house there. You have a family there. Everybody else here is either from the lower city and the gates kind of close after a certain hour to people from the lower city. Or some people are, are from the outer city and they're straight up not allowed in because the caste system. So you'll probably be alone going in or you'll be with a few people who can sneak in or whatever. Um, right, I understand. Should, yeah, but that's a good plan for next session and we can pro probably discuss that. Um, uh, either than that, there's always Sorcerer Sand Sundries, which is a pretty general store that everybody trusts. Nothing shady about it. It's pretty. It's ran by one of the other patriarchs. It's just it's ran in a lower city, and it carries a whole bunch of magic items and whatnot, um, and components. Uh, and you can sell your jewelry there if, too if you want. But it's all 100% up to you. Uh, just write to me, and I'll reply. You know, I've been answering questions this entire week, and I can keep on doing that. I that's what I live for. I love DMing more than being a player, so um Yeah. Okay. So um I Viren wouldn't want to miss out on any information, so for now he would kinda of just like if everybody else is okay with it, he would kinda of just hold on to it and tell them like later when we have some free time, I'll go to the upper districts and see what kind of price I can get for these things. You have you have some free time now. There's not really a, a pressure or timer for you to I mean, there is, but it's not like now. Do it now. So, like, if, if right now is oh, yeah, mid, we could. If, if right now is um, mid midday, you have until sundown when the green lanterns turn off to grow, go around the city and shop. So, Search Sunrise is right over. I'll show you. I don't have a, a, the pink for it yet, but it's literally right over here. Uh. Oh, it's not that far. It's not even that far. So, like, everything is super. It's a big city. Everything is slow, close and convenient. Yeah. I should. You know what? Yeah. Oh, dude. Sorry. You know what? Valen is going to be kicking himself over and feeling so much guilt about is he didn't. He should have asked Arrowwind to to heal the guy, but he... oh, I could have done that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, maybe Valen. Oh, maybe Valen might get a little bit resentful. Oh, who knows? This could be interesting. <laughs> yeah all right well i mean uh, and you asked okay so i can get in two in two, two in one picture actually um try not to metagame all the information that's gonna be in here um whatever you know some of the city but uh follow the arrows and in that section of the map i ping and i'm gonna post it in general there's sorcerer's sunrise and there's uh, Kendall Hollow's funeral arrangements. So everything mm. here is pretty close together, close in within within range. They're all pretty close to each other. Yeah, is and you guys a place I could then check the cost for various things. Sorcerer like Sunrise. That yeah, that's the that's the general store where where where, um, yeah. Really, any shop will, will buy gold off you. Is just if you want a a trustworthy. Place social sunrise is more or less trustworthy from what I read, um, and from what you know as mm. a patron of a city. If you want to hold on to it until you go to the upper city, you're more than welcome to. There's no rush to sell it for gold. Really, there's no. Uh, what are you? A, you're a wizard or a sorcerer? You're a wizard, right? I'm a wizard, yeah. Until you level up, there's not really a rush for anything. But anyway, did you, when did do you guys level up? I have to read that, um, because I don't run experience because that's gonna take us a long time to level up if I do that. I run um, what's called milestones. So when you guys do something, you level up. So was that was that it? I, this is what I'm asking myself. Treasure, yada yada. Uh, I'll 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 let you know if you guys did. I'm right. not gonna search for it right now because it's too much. But this was fun. It's nine. It's like nine fifty five where I am. So I I gotta, gotta okay. start getting ready. But. Uh, Thank you so much, everybody. And mm -hmm. uh, I guess next Monday, right? Yeah, yeah, next Monday. Peace out. See you then, guys. Yeah. Okay. Ciao. Uh, ciao, ciao. Have a good night. This was fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was Great. fun. Cool. So wait, real quick. Yeah. I have one last question I just shot, thought of. Um. So... Actually, I got a question, too. All right. Would there yes, be any I'm sort here. of bonus to maintaining weapons and armor like seeing as i'm a blacksmith i can like sharpen weapons or like repair armor 
So could I do anything like that to add bonuses or anything like that? You can add bonuses to maintaining keyword maintaining. Unless your weapon breaks, which can happen. Unless your weapon breaks, there's not really upkeep for your weapons, unless you do it for roleplay sake. Uh, mm-hmm. You can sharpen weapons and stuff. Yeah, you still have to spend gold to get the resources. Oh, okay. But being a blacksmith, you spend half. That's like the benefit half of, the gold. of being off your trade. Okay. And you still have to roll. So you need the gold, and you need to roll the skill check to see how well of a bonus. How you well get. I do it. Okay. Yeah. So that's. So, but yes. You, yeah. You can. You can as a blacksmith. Yours and your party's gear. You are effectively that NPC for the party. Yes. Okay. So I could maintain their armors and weapons for them. For sure, and apply any upgrades if you guys find any anything you can add on to your armor, anything that you can craft yeah. with. You're the guy they will probably turn to. You've been the guy that you've been turning to so far. I mean, you know, Faith has turned to you for a first blade. Um, yeah. You know, etc. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, that was my question. Okay, and what was the other question? Uh, you know how like you're saying like people wouldn't buy the boat because of its uh, reputation. Sure. Yeah. Would people buy it if like we put it into parts? Uh, that I don't think you can part is, a ship. It's a very difficult task requiring a lot of man and time, which is not really what this campaign is about. Uh, while it is a good idea, mm-hmm. it is not a good idea to. Uh, get too greedy. Uh, yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah. You. It feels good going through an adventure, and and I'm not gonna be greedy as a DM. I'm gonna reward you guys. You guys do good things. You. You've defeated yeah. the party crew. You were. You were. You did an interesting thing by bribing the guards in the tavern to, uh, you know, fight with you guys. I gave you more than you've spent on this tavern and beyond. And I'm gonna keep doing that. There's no really point in, um, you know, oh, let's sell a ship so we can have ten thousand gold. What are you gonna do with ten thousand gold at level one? And then everything out of the <laughs> treasure is gonna feel like nothing. Did you ever like cheat in Skyrim? Like, you know, do a gold cheat oh, in Skyrim yeah, exactly. and, and the game became that. like stale? It's kinda like that. It feels better to go through like, an adventure. Right in the beginning, you get yourself some Daedric armor and upgrade it. <laughs> that. Or you get also, yourself a, an yeah. iron dagger and you upgrade it to where it does 10 million damage. I've also, the, the ship is probably worth more intact. Like, the ship is probably, probably worth yeah. more like saleable. You guys can do stuff with the ship, it's a very open world. If you want to, later on you find out you have to go somewhere else, and you could be like, well, we're literally in Grey Harbor. We have this, a ship. <laughs> we have a yeah, ship. Uh, do you want me to show on. you the map of this place, of the surrounding, because you would know it? Whatever. It's fine. So, because um, I didn't want to show it before, because I didn't want people to metagame before, but now yeah. we're pretty much mm-hmm. in the game. Here's the map. This is what the place, this is Baldur's Gate right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to take Oh, a God. Oh, <laughs> So, and this is just a small section of the map that I'm just using for myself. But there's Baldur's Gate right there, right? Oh, and so you're there's on, a lot of places. You you're know. on Charanthra River, so if you need to go places, yeah, if we need to get to like Ethereal or you know Eltrel or you can or, get to Candle Keep down here, right? If you just sail like, out, whatever, yeah. you know, it's a very open-ended world. You you can you can do that if you want to go to uh, what is it, Scornubel for whatever reason. And take the trade way from there to bore secure bridge for whatever reason. Probably won't have to, but you know, <laughs> you can take yeah. the river. You can take the ship. You could do that if you That's... if you just decide to be that chaotic and be like, "Well, this is our ship now, boys." You're just being part <laughs> of Baldur's Gate problem. But hey, you're doing your. You could become you... pirates and <laughs> yeah, you, pre- you pretty much give in to what Baldur's Gate is all about. Is like, well, this is what this game. Yeah, is all Bapo about. over here stole a pirate hat. He's like, yeah, I already got a pirate hat. This. <laughs> Mind you, mind you, re- remember what I said before, is that mm-hmm. the law is the law. There's still, like... It could catch up on us and that kind of stuff. If yeah. you don't piss off the guard, you're going to piss off the other criminals. You you don't want to mess mess with things beyond the, the cog turns, right? Whose ship is that? Who, who are these guys? Who is Deadeye? Who, what does that captain serve? Why is... Why is uh, uh, Tarina in trouble with them? Who you know? There's so many things that you guys that you don't know. We don't Just know yet. Make sure uh, you don't yeah. stir up that nest before you know. Before we're ready. Before you yeah. know the full picture of it. Um. um but, yeah. Yeah. Uh. So for my uh, character icon logo thing, so you see how the the laughing one, the laughing yep. dragon, uh. And the guy that I stole the hat off of, can you like Photoshop his hat onto that dragon? I do it for. I was gonna say I do it for a living, but nobody pays me for this. Yeah, I do it professionally. Done. I'll I'll have it done. Don't worry. Oh, I nice. I literally have like a point hat for you ready before next session. 
sake. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Um, <laughs> can I take his hat? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I was like, wait, I was looking for images, and as soon as I found that one, I was like, hey guys, could I steal his hat? <laughs> and you can, and it's very fun to do so, but just keep in mm -hmm. mind, there are actions, and there's consequence. You know, who knew Deadeye? Would they recognize you without a hat on later on? Would they recognize fun, his hat? Fun things like that. Yeah. Kind of, you know? Well, it's, maybe, it's maybe they won't recognize it. Maybe it's just an average hat, you know? It's fucking brown. Maybe you didn't steal enough from, from, <laughs> from it. But, you know, if somebody sees you with gold nexus, Deadeye's hat, and his eye patch, they're going to put two and two together and be like, uh, you know. Uh. <laughs> can you give me his eye patch? <laughs> you can take his eye patch off his. He doesn't have an eye patch, never mind. He doesn't have one. Oh. Uh, it, it was Zodge who had an eye patch. And I'm like, I was mixing up characters. But yeah. <laughs> yeah it wasn't he yeah. blind in one eye or the other guy? Yeah, he had like a false eye or something. Yeah, he had a. Uh, I mean, there, there he is, is his hand. Uh, hold on. I'm reading it. Let me see. There it is. Ah, oh, yeah. So there he is, uh, in Nurgle's glory, and I can actually drag his icon to the center of the map and enlarge it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's like, that's oh, him. Wow. <laughs> right, so... Ooh, he has an earring. Yeah. Can I steal that earring as well? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you could. I mean, <laughs> I'm not stopping you because that's very much well, your character. That's You're getting the spirit of, like, this is the flame... The flaming fists suck. They're mercenaries... Yeah, they're guarding the era, they're doing the juice, but like they're mercenaries. They they obey the law, but like if no nobody sees around to tell, they won't tell, you know? I'm trying mm -hmm. to make my character look cool. <laughs> sure. Well, I don't I don't think Dragonborns have ears necessarily. They have ears, just don't have ear lobes. <laughs> they have it, like ear holes. But you can you could take his rings and like wear it like a like on You could on, put it on your horn. On summer, you know. Well, yeah, I, mean, I, I have I, like I, horns coming out the back of my head, put it on that. Whatever, whatever works for you, man. Or like, whatever where it is a nose ring? Yeah, or no, not a nose ring, but like, he has like, like a, like a, a horn or something. Just put it on that. Like if it was like a, like a regular, you know, earring type deal. I'm bad at explaining things. <laughs> well, this was fun. I'm glad you guys had fun. Uh, who's among you here, first time D and D, except for Bapo? Um, not necessarily first time, but we're fairly new to it. It'd be me, Apo, and then Faith. Mm. <clears throat> we're fairly new. Fair enough. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. You guys have the fuel and fire of my campaign, so... It's all... If you ever have criticism, too, I'm always open to it. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, don't be a dick about it, but, like... <laughs> no. <laughs> if you ever... If you were like, you know, oh, I want a hat, or, like, oh, it would be cool if we did this, or it would be cool if we did less of this. For example, I'll give you an example. Um... Actually, I realize I'm still recording, so I'm just going to say goodbye to YouTube for a second.